Do you like my Arabic fade chat? Well, do you think this will get far, far off my fucking back? Look at that. It doesn't look good on a white boy. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't think it will either. Bald, come on. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm sorry to do this. We're playing Master Duel. We're going to be playing a game versus the one, the only, Team Samurai X1. And then we're going to do intro. Then we're going to do freaks, as usual. If you've ever been around on a Wednesday stream, you know this is how we do things. This shouldn't be a surprise to you, you fucking tourists. Yo! Hello, how are you doing? Yo, you hear me, bro? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, absolutely beautiful, bro. Are you ready, bro? Holy shit, Rondry, thank you for the five. Hello? I am ready, yes. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bro, bro, can you invite me? Uh, oh, I haven't made one. Let me make one. Right right. No. All right. I am live, yeah. Oh, God damn. All right, guys, welcome back to our weekly recreation of Duel Monsters Season 1. Guys, hey, I, we read the comments, and actually one of the hottest comments is to 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 use Yugi Magnet Warriors versus Kaiba ABCs. How crazy is that? I'm down to do that. I am a magnet warrior master. I, I, if you, oh. if you don't know. Oh, really? You, no, you not really. I think, I think Berserkion's cool, but no, I never played that. I, I played that deck when like a block dragon was legal. That was kind of fun. Oh, so you're a cheater. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. So you like to cheat. You like to play block dragon. Oh man. I, I miss the hell out of block dragon. I, it, there should be a law. You can play block dragon unless you play him in an emancipator. Like you should be able to play him oh. everywhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I'm down for that. If that's an actual rule, to be honest, that, that's fair. That's fair. That's only fair, right, right guys? Exactly. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm setting the room. Setting the room. Okay, give me a second. Unlimited. You know, guys, band cards are gonna be allowed, which is gonna be kind of crazy. I'm playing. A uh, I'm not playing Block Dragon. I will say, rest in peace. Okay. Wow, bro. So when did you get into uh, Block Dragon? If you don't mind, uh, you know. <laughs> you know, he was just he was just training around. Yeah, he just you know he's just having a good time. Yeah, man, where's our machines? The rocks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what a pussy. Right. It, anyway, they they should be machines, probably. It feels like. All right, I'm yeah, in. Right? Magnet warriors, right? Magnet warriors are machines. Hmm. All right, bro, I'm in. I'm inside. Ready? Me too. Yeah. Okay, MBT or I mean Yugi, explain to the viewers what we're doing today, please. Please explain to the viewers. Uh, let me get my my Yugi voice. <coughs> we're playing a game of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's not very good. I haven't practiced this one too much. It's gonna be Yugi's Magnet Warriors versus Kaiba's. A B C dragons. I guess V W X Y A B Z S T. What 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 do you got in here? Yugi A B C. You're a bitch. Begin. <laughs> Kaiba, that's very hurtful. Yugi, I don't know who's better, Mokuba or you. <laughs> oh, you're gonna find out. Here I am going first. All right. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna beat you up and I'll beat your grandpa. I'm gonna send you to the hospital, Yugi. <laughs> Oh Yugi. man. I think I prefer there's if you had the blue rule. eyes. Yugi, there's one rule in this challenge. You cannot bring out the Pharaoh or else you're a bitch. Hey, that's fine. That's fine. I don't need the Pharaoh. He was holding me back anyway. Have you seen what he's playing? Right. God cards? Right. I don't need that. All right, back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Yugi. Let's go. Okay. Come on, Yugi boy. Yugi wow. boy. I can't wait. They really let he's he's got a ton of really good cards. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, here we go. Guys, if you see my extra deck on the screen right now, this is the deck list that I'm playing. All right, guys, this is the deck list. And if you guys look at Joseph's deck list, this is Joseph's deck list. So you guys can compare both our deck lists, but it's gonna be fun. All right, it's gonna be fun. Go all right. activate uh, pop green. No, I'm actually gonna begin with uh, Alpha, the Electro Magnet Warrior. Ooh, okay. this card right, lets right. me add a big ass Magnet Warrior for my deck in my hand. I'm gonna get this card. You ever seen this one? Berserkion. Berserkion. All right. Okay. Do you know that Magnet Warriors has like the, a negate fusion that you can bring out? Berserk yeah, and uh, it's not so good, <laughs> but we're going to see if it comes out. Uh, okay. First, I'm going to bring out some more magnets. We're going to go Magnet Induction. You ever see this card? What does this do, you? Oh, you're going to love what this does. It just lets you special summon a magnet from deck. It just says, you know what? Go ahead. It was a free magnet. Uh, and this one, when special summoned, allows me to special summon another magnet. Ain't okay. that cool? All right. We're going to go Delta the Magnet Warrior on summon Yugi, your this card. Are pissing me off, Yugi. <laughs> Let's me send a Beta to Graveyard. You know a lot about that card, Kaiba. And then we'll go... Yugi, you are a Beta. Pharaoh is the Alpha. We'll go, uh, we'll go Gorgonic Guardian. 
And then we're gonna pass turn here. This is all. This is all what we're gonna do. The fuck, Yugi. What is this, Yugi? Oh, you've never seen Gorgata Guardian? This? Kaiba, I would think you would know every card. Yugi. When did you have Gorgonic Guardian in your deck, Yugi? Ah, uh, you know, it's it's Gorgonic, it's ancient Egyptian. Uh, you know, maybe I was lent it by oh. a special someone. Okay, so what does this what does it do? So this goes to the end, right? What's when Dread Lord's turn? You touch on trying to feed some monster board controls. The tax comes zero. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. It's okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. so so you so so you have a negate, aka you're a pussy, Yugi. Activate Union Hanger. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm a pussy. I'm a, if Union yeah, Hanger so comes out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep talking. Oh, Keep talking. Yugi. All right, you know what, Yugi? I'm going to search B, Buster. Like how I busted your grandpa at the hospital. <laughs> I'm gonna that was really hurtful, Kaiba. You bring that up all the time. Then I use, of course, Union Hanger, Yugi, to equip, of course. Yeah, fine, whatever. Okay, I'm going to equip... The Union Driver to it, Yugi. Union Driver is a new card that I stole from your grandpa's card shop. Activate <laughs> Union Driver. Okay, so I'm going to banish this guy. Okay. Okay, all right. Bad, bad, bad. I'm doing it that. All right, and I'm going to summon um, uh, a Socor, Yugi. Oh, okay, yeah. And right. I'm going to activate a Socor, Yugi. Mm-hmm. All right, some of this. And now, Yugi, I activate the fusion spell, fusion deployment. What? No, come on. Yugi. Kaiba, you've been talking to some branded duelists recently? What's going on here, Kaiba? Yugi, this right here is my dark blade on the card, Yugi. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see him. There he is. Yeah. And that I doesn't look like dark blade. Ooh. Now. Now, now, Yugi, I'm going to sing my favorite song. A, B, C. It's easy as one, two, three. Adore, A, B, A, B, C. One, two, three, just you and me. Ooh, you got the rich boy, A, B, C. This is looking yeah. good. Screw the rules. I have money. Buster. Bust on his face. How? I, I mean, I guess... Kaiba, you uh, you might have a lot of money, but you don't have a really good uh, knowledge of the rules. Uh, what are the rules, Yugi? Yeah, the rules are because my monster changes your attack to zero, I can use it during the damage step. What? Yugi? No, no, wait, wait hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> There's no way. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, what? There's Kaiba, no. sounds like you need a crash no, course no. in dual monster. <laughs> That is, that is okay. That okay, I, guys. I swear on my life, that was not a bit. I swear <laughs> to God, on my life, I'm actually dumb. Like, please, just, just uh, no freaking way, bro. <laughs> that is actually so no way, no freaking way, no, Ooh, no. Kaiba, I I don't like how this is turning out for you. Oh my God. Well, we are just gonna go ahead and normal summon an epsilon the magnet warrior. You gonna... what magnet is that? Uh, There's this... a nan on it. <laughs> this card's gonna let me send a uh, uh, gamma the electromagnet warrior to the graveyard. Oh shit, Yugi! No. And then uh, looks like I've got all three in the grave, so uh, we'll just go ahead and banish all three of those Yugi. in order to bring out Berserkion. If you don't finish me this turn, you lose, Yugi. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm not worried about that. Uh, I did pick this up from a little friend of mine. You ever hear of uh, Monster Reborn? You know, give me that beautiful card in your graveyard. That very pretty rich boy ABC. <laughs> Let me see what we got here. No! Oh, my God. Yugi. Yugi. All right. Yugi. You used the Pharaoh cell, Yugi. I know that's not you. You don't have the skill enough to do me like this, loser. <laughs> I, it didn't take too much skill, I'm going to be honest. I feel like it was actually super easy. That is actually so shit, man. I'm <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, my God. My goodness. I cannot believe this is happening right now. Yugi, you got lucky there. That's never happening again. Okay. All right. Lock in. Lock in. Lock in. All right, I'm going second. Go ahead. Go ahead, Yugi. Go You're going you second. Talk. You said, oh, I didn't believe in the Gorgonic Guardian. All right, I'll, sh I'll show you what my deck can do. Guys, really? Do you, do you really think I'm going to lose the Gorgonic Guardian? Really? 
I'm gonna lose Gorgon. I'm gonna, you think I'm gonna lose Gorgon? Gorgon oh, 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 oh. You, you may not lose to Gorgon Guardia. I'll say that. You probably won't. But you might lose to a little card called Pot of Greed. No, Yugi. Isn't that card banned? Uh, well, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I haven't read the rule book in a while. That's why I'm playing that card. I'm also playing Graceful Charity, if you've ever heard of that card. <laughs> You cheater, Yugi! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. It's completely fine. Yugi. It's completely fine. Uh, so that one. Um, look, we don't need beta. that one. That's you. That's you, Yugi. You're a beta. And then let's uh, go Gold Gadget. Oh, Yugi. When did you get Gold Gadget in your deck, Yugi? Wait, wait this one I really do have. I, this, really? I, dang it. This this hand doesn't really do what I want. Well, uh, Pot of Greed, Graceful Charity, really good cards. I got one more strong spell card for you. You ever hear Monster Reborn? All right, Yugi, guys. Okay, this is... Okay, all right. Your Monster Reborn... You open up three staples in your open hand. You guys, he drew Pot of Greed, Graceful Charity, and Monster Reborn all in one hand. <laughs> Watch me still lose this game. All Must right. be nice, eh? Must be nice, huh? Okay, what are we getting here? Uh, ooh, I feel like Gamma's pretty good here. Let's summon Gamma. Yugi, since you're a week late, I'm going to put on a show for you, Yugi. Use Gamma right. to summon Epsilon. Epsilon. Epsilon to send. Ooh, God, who do we want to send? Uh, Delta, I suppose. No, he kind of sucks. Some tags on, right? Should we just go a little more? Wow, get summon Epsilon from the deck. That's crazy. And then we will summon Gamma back. Then what does Delta do? Uh, Delta, um, he just sits there. From this position, he just sits there. Oh, okay, okay. He's just chilling. All right, now what do we want to end on? We got some crazy good cards. Um, All right, Yugi. If you make Baguska, Yugi, you actually are a cheater, Yugi. <laughs> don't worry, not making no Baguska. You don't have worry. Baguska in your deck, Yugi. That's in a different era, Yugi. Uh, we're going to make Gallant Granite. If you search the Biru, Yugi, you are a cheater, <laughs> Yugi. If you search the Biru, <laughs> I, I swear to God, God, I swear to God, if you search the Biru, you're a bitch, Yugi. Uh, okay, what do we want to get? Oh, my God. Don't the beer, Yugi. Uh, I think I am going to go ahead and grab another Gamma. Yes. And then we just got some random guys on our side of the field. Uh, that doesn't even do anything because I, I ain't got no good cards. Um, yeah, I think I'm just ending on this. It's really whack, though. Nice board, Yugi. Yugi, it's 2024. How many negates is this, Yugi? All right, I'll I'll get I'll give you one more card to play with. You worry about this one. What is this? This is, uh, <laughs> I stopped by the card shop on the way here. Uh, I picked up a what real nice one. Is this, Yugi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yugi, get wrecked. Yo, 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 Kaiba, uh, Yugi, if, I, if you give you Nightcore, you like Nightmare Unicorn me. Then we're, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> what you're talking about? I activate Union Hanger, Yugi. Oh, two games in a row. Complaining the whole time. Two Union Hangers in a row. Really? Blah, blah, Classic blah. Classic Kaiba. Classic Kaiba. That's, that's what you sound like right now. You sound like a pussy. <laughs> oh my God. Kaiba, that's you got to be kinder to your opponents, Kaiba. What happened to respect? What happened to, uh, to sportsmanship? Fuck respect. I got money. <laughs> Um, during either player's turn, when your opponent activates the spell trap effect. Okay, this card is ass. Yugi, I search for the A Assault Core. Yeah, yeah. All right, Yugi. Let me see if I can do something with this. No more some A Assault Core, Yugi. Mm hmm. Activate this. Equip. Enemy. Union driver, Yugi. Activate Union Driver. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me see. Okay, hang on there. B Buster Drake. Activate B. Okay. I activate Frontline Base. Oh, oh Kai, Kai, this, this card's got stink lines running coming running. off it. Oh, no. Oh. I activate Frontline Base. 
Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, all you want. Summon, of course, C. All right. Dan Yugi, I activate fusion deployment. Oh, my gosh. You got all of them. Yeah, they're coming. Oh. I'm going to summon... Another A of Soul Core. Yugi. Good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had Synchro Summon. Fusion Summon. ABC Dragon Buster! He's back. Enter the battle phase, Yugi. Uh, that's fine. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Attack into your gallant. Okay. Attack. Okay. Vanish. <laughs> okay. Activate A. Oh no, what is this gonna do? It was unaffected by monsters. Oh no! <laughs> that was my whole plan! Uh, <laughs> uh okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh great great draw. That's a really great draw. Uh okay, what the hell are we doing? Okay, let's go. Gamma the electromagnetic warrior. Okay, alright, bat, bat, bat. Do your thing. Oh, Epsilon? What? We'll go Epsilon send Alpha, and then okay. we will trigger Epsilon to summon Delta. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's go Delta here. Okay. Yep, that's fine. We are going to send... Delta to the graveyard. Okay. Then we are going to activate Delta's effect. Oh, so you're summoning Volcarion. I am. Oh, you're so cool, Kaiba. I mean, Yugi. Here he is. Valkyrion. Valkyrion. Yeah, that's 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 all he does. He's I don't know. Yeah, he still gets over your guy. Yugi. Summon Valkyrion. Do it. Okay, let's go once again. We're gonna make another gallant granite. Okay, Yugi, I'm not stupid. You're gonna search for Zerkion. I might. Oh, limit a removal. Oh, you came to play. Wait, you're wait, what? Oh. Well, I'll, I'll go to battle, I guess, right? Get him, Valkyrion. Right. Oh. Alright. No! <laughs> no! Oh, I should have read! <laughs> you didn't read, Yugi! You didn't oh, learn no. from the Pharaoh! The Pharaoh reads, Yugi! Oh, no. You're just like Mokuba, useless little prick. Oh no, Kaiba! ABC! Oh no, oh my god, it's over. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Kaiba <laughs> didn't teach you this where I'm from. Where you're from, there. I mean, oh, Yugi. no. All right, Yugi, I'm going to just play around with you for a bit. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't read any of the Union monsters. I didn't think anyone would ever play them. Equip B mm -hmm. with A. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So how do I make the other guys? How do I make the other guys? The VWXYZs? You gotta have the Vs yeah. and the WXYZs. Yeah, what the heck? Okay, you know what? Why are we coming only... Oh, 
What? Okay. All right. Normal summon B. Yeah. Activate Union Hanger. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, why can't I, I, we guys, why can't I equip, like, why can't I equip Y to, oh, to B? Kaiba, you're going to hate this. <laughs> why? Why can't I equip Y or Z to, like, B? V, or v, W, X, Y, and Z aren't all valid targets for each other. So some of what them can only be equipped to some of them. So, like, what? yeah, so normally a B can't get you, like, a Y from deck, for instance. How come? Uh, I think Y says it has to be equipped to X or Z. That's got to be racist, right? Yeah, for sure. That has, that has to be racist, guys. Kaiba, you played these cards for years. You don't know what these cards do? Yugi, shut up. <laughs> what? That's That's got to be racist, guys. <laughs> that's got to be racist. That That is no way. I don't understand. That's What's the problem? You, you you were talking a big game about screw the rules. Time to see you screw them. Let's see you. Let's see you equip a union monster. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fine. I know what to do now. Ah, I know what I'm doing now, guys. <laughs> oh, wait. You've got the plays. I I see the vision. I see the vision. Ah, I'm searching now. I'm searching for the pieces. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, don't worry, man. I'm going to play in my food a bit, if you don't mind, <laughs> Yugi. I'm going to summon the big dude. <laughs> oh, now I get to search the... Oh. Oh, okay. All right, bad, bad, bad. Okay, there you go. Wait, uh -huh. Exide Cannon is not searchable? No, what? it's a vanilla. <laughs> it's not even a union. What? You can't search X or V. <laughs> what? I <laughs> ass. Guy, Guy, but you got to play better cards. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay, guys, this is actually just ridiculous. I can't believe that we're doing this right now. All right. Mm -hmm. No way. Oh, you guys see I'm cooking, right, guys? I'm just cooking right now. <laughs> yeah, we're I'm just we're moving. I don't know how these are getting out of the field, but I get it. <laughs> you get it, you get it, you get it, right? You, you get it, right? Mm -hmm. there's, <laughs> okay. there's Z. <laughs> there, there's Z. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. All right. Summon. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh, I see what's going on here. Oh, you're a genius. You see, you I see what's right? going on. You're, you're a genius. You see I'm cooking, right? <laughs> you, see how, you, see, you see I'm cooking, right? You guys see I'm cooking? Mm -hmm. And then I summon Z. Ah. Oh, oh my let's God. Go. Oh, we did it after a thousand yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this card is ah. <laughs> You know what? I'm just going to wait next turn. You know what? I'm just just wait on wait. YZ. He's like, nah, I don't want to play that. <laughs> now we'll wait next turn to summon the big guy. One, two, three. Summon this. Mm. Mm. Basil. Ooh. I am not taking all that damage. Okay. Um. Absolutely. Delta. Yeah. Attack. Yeah. Yeah. Banish. Mm -hmm. uh, Yugi, you're so lucky I'm sparing you. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. It's all, it's all over, Yugi. 
Wait, how do I search X head cannon, guys? Is there a way to search X head cannon? There's uh, no way, right? The X and the V, you have to just draw, yeah. Oh my god, man. Uh, but don't worry, you'll have a lot of time to do that, because uh, this game will last a, a long time after I summon out my uh, my Berserkion. Oh, shit. What does it do? Oh. All right, Yugi, it's not a quick effect, so your card is ass. Oh, it's not great. Oh, you, you got me. It's not fantastic. <laughs> Limited removal again. Oh, boy. Okay. I have one X. card in my hand. Let me draw X. Let me draw X. Please, uh, guys, draw unfortunately X. Uh, for you, it is an insane card. What? What does this do? Uh, it turns all of my monsters into compulses. Uh, but I don't have any monsters, so go ahead. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please draw. Please, please draw X. What? X is not even a union, bro. <laughs> no, it's just a normal monster. What? <laughs> that is so dumb. No, please, yo, we have to draw X. We have to draw X, please. I want to summon. I, I guy. think you're gonna be able to. I think you're gonna have time. Please. Oh, X would be card. insane. Okay. Hey, bro, after this duel, I have to add three X in my deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Beta. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Add Grab. it. If you can draw level four lower lock monster, you can try to one level four monster if you have a special thing. Epsilon. Boo you, Yugi. Ah, okay. Nice try. Get rid of that. All right, go ahead. Oh my god, come on. Let me just, let me just draw X, please. X, X. Oh! Oh, wait, wait. Let me see if I can activate it from the field. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure I can banish it from the field, right? Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, okay, yeah, go. Okay. If it's okay. All right, okay. We're good. Beto. Mm -hmm. Please, let me just summon this guy. You know, I've never summoned eight, uh, A to Z before ever in my life. Oh, I. Oh. Have you guys ever seen that card summon? Have you guys ever seen that card summon? I um, one of my earliest big videos was trying to summon that card, and it is—it's almost impossible, and it dies to everything. <laughs> Bro, isn't that card impossible? Like the dark arm one? Arm Dragon Catapult. That, that's the one that's impossible. Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's one that's like impossible uh, to beat. I don't know. This guy. What do I have in fours that helps me? Nothing. Okay, so you're just floating. All right. Bad, bad, bad. Alpha. We'll make... I don't know. I don't like either of these. I, I think I got to just not die here. Yes! <gasps> oh. Yugi, you played a great game. I normal summon eggs head <laughs> You really drew it! <laughs> I will synchro fusion summon by sending Y, <laughs> Z, and X head to the banish zone to summon X, Y, Z dragon cannon! Oh, not this car. Oh, no. Not and now, car. and now, Yugi. I make my ultimate boss monster. But before I do that, activate this effect. Mm -hmm. Yugi, you're a pussy. <laughs> banish to banish this. Come on, man. By banishing my A and my X, summon A to Z, Dragon Buster Cannon. Holy. Okay, we're going to have to build the Dragon Buster can banish this card. Then target it's in the gate. Oh, it's in the gate, no. too. Uh, it's in the gate. Yeah. 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 Mm. And now, Yugi, it's in the battle phase. I activate A to Z Dragon <laughs> Wait, Busters. What? Wait, this card's it. broken. I bring back A, B, C, and X, Y, Z. <laughs> a, B, C. It's easy as X, Y, Z. It's in the battle phase, Yugi. So you can't do anything. 
I didn't know it could do that. <laughs> Attack! Oh. Attack, ABC! Yugi. Game three, Yugi. You sacked me. You sacked me. You said that's, that's all there is to it. You drew the best yeah, card in your deck. I said cannon. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, guys, hold up. I'm gonna. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, what is it? I'm, I'm gonna edit my deck a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make it a bit weaker because Yugi's a pussy. <laughs> oh just, wow! I'm just. I'm just gonna triple out the, the ADC guy. Okay, give me a second. Mm -hmm. So it was X head cannon. X head. Uh, okay, so you, so I'm play three. I'm gonna play three X head. Mm -hmm. Head uh, cannon, bro. If you wanna add any cards to your deck, you can. I I, I don't really care. Uh, no, nah, I'm okay. I'm trying to think real quick what I would even add. You can add, uh, uh Yugi. You can try to add Snake Eye Ash. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm good. And Yugi, just add Snake Eye Ash and you'll be good, Yugi. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I'm playing three Fusion Deployment to bring it out. Is there another one? Oh, wait. Oh, oh god, yeah. This card called XYZ Combined. Card sounds crazy. Then combine, and then I need to play Y Dragon at three. And all right, Yugi, I'm ready. All right, ready. All right. Are you going first this time? Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go first. Still, I'm still gonna go first. All right, Yugi. Good luck, Yugi. Yeah. You can add block dragon if you want, Yugi. Oh, I would never do something like that. I would. <laughs> I would. I would never. Just <laughs> add block dragon, Yugi. I gave you permission, Yugi. <laughs> oh, I would. I would want to betray your trust like that. Yugi, is that block dragon, Yugi? <laughs> Please add block dragon. I beg you to add block dragon, Yugi. Ooh, this hit's looking pretty, pretty good. All right, let's lead unexpected die. Mmm, damn, okay. And we're going to get... We're going to get beta to our side of the field. Okay. okay. Uh, we are going to normal summon uh, Gamma the Magnet Warrior. And then we are going to make a Gallant Granite. Okay. And you're uh, going to add, of course, Berserkion for follow-up. Okay. No, I, I'm not going to add Berserkion. I think Berserkion. actually it's better if I add uh, maybe like a little, maybe a block drag. <laughs> hey, what did you get that added to your deck? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yugi. Uh, I never okay. knew your name starts with the word bitch. B. <laughs> Yugi. <laughs> All right. I, I My whole hand. I don't really want to lose my whole hand, but I got to. But I got to do it. Okay. We don't need all these alphas. We don't need all these all these gammas. It's block dragon time, baby. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, my God. He makes <laughs> IP. We'll what make is, IP. Is... And then uh, we'll just trigger the block <laughs> dragon. You know, no big deal. Yugi. Oh, yeah. All right. What are we doing? I like on? this, Yugi. I like that now you don't play by the rules, Yugi. Oh. We never play by the rules. Uh, Kaiba, you're getting uh, you're getting a little frisky there. <laughs> we'll grab uh, Epsilon okay. and we'll grab uh, Delta. Wow. And I think I mean I am well, I'm really about to just go off. Yeah, you better you better wrap this up this turn. I will give you one turn to figure this out. <laughs> Yugi. Yo Val, play my Kaiba theme song, okay? Draw. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. No way. No way. Yugi, I just drew your favorite card. The pot of green. No, oh, no, come on. Kaiba, oh, where'd you get that card? Yugi. Then I'll activate Yugi. The graceful charity. Kaiba, where'd you get these cards? A rich boy like you wouldn't know anything about charity. <laughs> I send A and oh, no. B. Oh no! Come on. Now, 
I activate the spell card. X, Y, Z, combine, what Yugi. What is this card? What is, I've never seen it. If a light machine monster is banished, then something happens. Okay, sure, whatever. All right, we get to add... Um, I, oh. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. Wait, okay, bro. I, I can summon the big guy this turn. Wait, give me a second. Give me a second. So I add... I see to my hand. We are here with. Then I activate frontline base. I activate frontline base to summon C Crush Viver. Okay. No, I'm not gonna use Union Hanger. Now I will banish. ABC Dragon Buster Yugi. Okay. Then I activate my 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 spell card. XC's combined. Oh, okay. Letting me summon Yugi. The Y Dragon Head from my deck. Uh huh. Now I will trigger Union Hanger Yugi. To target the Y Dragon Head, to equip, of course, the Z Metal Tank. I'm still with you. And now, Yugi, I normal summon the Exit Cannon! <laughs> now, Yugi, by banishing the X, the Z, the Y, I 10 card comboed you, Yugi. <laughs> Come in! XYZ Dragon Cannon! Your block dragon stands for bitch. Activate XYZ Dragon Cannon by discarding my Union Scramble. Oh this no! Force. I cannot Union Scramble! Now, Yugi, get ready for the my ultimate fusion! Vanishing! Oh. A to Z! Oh. Now, Yugi, 4,000? Yugi! There is no time for this. I tribute summon. <laughs> Yugi, you really thought you can beat me. That's why you're not the Pharaoh. Yugi. Mink. You know what, Yugi? Since you're pathetic and you're my friend, because I have no friends, I end my turn. Kaiba, oh, I, I was wrong about you. You do, you do know the value of charity. Oh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you why. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't be so charitable in the future. Let's go, magnetic field. Okay, Yugi. All right, let's That's see. Normal epsilon. Okay, all right. We will send a gamma to the graveyard. Okay. Special beta. Okay. Okay, Yugi. You're cooking. Let's go magnet. Target our yeah. gamma. Yep. Yeah. And we'll go gamma. Yep. Special our delta. Go okay. for Delta. What are you cooking here, Yugi? Oh, I'm, I'm chefing it up. Uh, we will send... Ooh. No, we don't do that. We'll send Alpha. Okay. Uh, we are going to... Make another Gallant Granite. Yugi. I cannot let that happen, Yugi. ABC Dragon Buster. Send away the X Head Cannon. Banish the Gallon Granite. Oh, no, not the Gallon Granite. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to activate Block Dragon. 
You tricked me, Yugi. <laughs> did I to trick you? How did you gotta read the cards on the field? Oh my gosh. There he is. Ooh, wait, I saw that. What are you thinking about? Kaiba, what are you thinking about? You could... uh, yeah, yeah, really. All right, we're going to make... <laughs> does this... Does this one tiring? No, it's an if. Uh, that would be... I don't think that would be enough, though. I'll do it like this. We're going to go... Geonator Transverser, a powerful rock monster. Oh, I played it on your zones, Yugi. You did. You're a genius. What can I say? <laughs> uh, we are going to grab... I played it on your zones, Yugi. <laughs> Berserkion? Oh. And then... Oh, is there still nothing I can do? Let's go to... Battle phase. Let's go transverser in. Once per turn during the end of the bat damage step. No, not my XA cannon. Oh. Oh, okay. This is sick. Sure. Sure, Yugi. Yeah, why not? Oh, Do one. right. Do one. Why? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why'd you do that? My oh, you already need a full spell. I was like, oh, I'll bounce it. This will be great. No, bro. I had VW XYZ Dragon Cannon next turn. Uh huh? Oh. My God. I had VW XYZ Dragon Cat in the Chaz card next, coming next turn. Damn. I was like, what are you trying to do right now? Oh, oh. damn. Yugi, it's okay. You you were no match for my ABCs. I, I, was, I, I guess I was wrong to doubt you, Kaiba. I, I didn't realize <laughs> how broken your you deck need, is. I think um, you need to get not only Block Dragon, but consider adding an Emancipator cards. Mm. Consider adding um, what else? Unicorn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe boar, boar, boar Lord Savage Dragon. Mm -hmm. I'm writing these down. Mm -hmm. Baron the Floor. Mm -hmm. Maybe a Twist Dweller. Uh huh. You writing it down? Yeah. Well, hold up. Let me. I'm. I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down. Even those won't be enough because you need the Pharaoh. Yeah, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. Do you have any other? Do you have any other suggestions uh, of cards that I could theoretically play? I, I want to get all these down. Maybe go outside and touch some grass, Yugi. Yeah. Get uh -huh. a girlfriend. Go, uh -huh. go, go, date Taya or something. <laughs> Give so? her a kiss on the cheek. Give her a kiss on the cheek for me or something, Yugi. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> 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 all right, guys. Let us know what other anime crazy decks you guys want to see next. We, you guys already know it was, it was clearly unmatched. Like, I, I feel like if, if, if I just have Union Hanger, it's just over. You know what I, I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I think, I think, I think that I didn't realize how much the Adam Emancipators mattered for this strategy back in the day. Oh my God. <laughs> Honestly, the, yeah, the deck is just, the, I think EBC Dragon Buster is just a bit too strong. That's, that's pretty much it. It's a good ass card. But yeah, guys, that that that's what would happen if you get Magnet Warriors versus ABC. So guys, let us know what other anime decks you guys want to see next. Joseph, anything you want to say before we continue off, or or or, or yeah, anything before we sign off? I to the Pharaoh. I'm so sorry I let you down. It won't happen again. Don't worry. Next time the Pharaoh is coming. Peace. All right, I stopped it. That was bro, fun. That was fun, man. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun, bro. Bro, I still like. Um, I'm I'm adding in special animations for all our other duels. Mm -hmm. So like the next one's gonna go is Weevil versus Rex. That one's really good too, but all the other ones is is, is, is gonna be really nice. So, guys, let us know what other crazy stuff you guys want to see next, because like these like these are fun, bro. Yeah, no, bro, I'm have... yeah, sorry. Go ahead. No, what's the list that you wanted to to to, to, to duel with? Uh, like like remember? Do you remember like? What do you mean? You say that, like uh like a mat the matchups. Oh yeah, I have it. It's up in the. Uh, let me scroll up in the chat. Let me see. Let me see. 
Oh yeah, I'm, I'm trying to scroll up too. Oh yeah, we said we right. got we got um, my Bandit Keith. We did Mako Bones, Kaiba Joey, Duke Devlin, Panic. Does anyone know Panic cards? What does Panic do? Pegasus, who, Bakura, who's... any of those. Who's Panic? Oh, Panic. He's the he's the um, Castle of Dark Illusions guy. What? Yeah, he, he has new support. Shit. No, he doesn't have. He doesn't have anything. I don't know, people. You you don't really want to see Panic, right? You don't want to see. I don't yeah, think he. There's, there's... I think he literally has zero new cards. Yeah, who's who? That was Panic. <laughs> we Jack goes. We hate Panic. All right, okay. We don't have to do Panic. I'm completely no Panic. No, no, no Panic. What else? Uh, we got Pegasus. We got Bakura. We got Duke Devlin. The new Duke Devlin stuff is crazy. Bro, we can do Duke Devlin versus Joey, bro. Like, I remember Joey has like spin like chance cards too or something. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That'll be sick. All right, bro, Joseph. Thank you so much, bro. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. See you next Wednesday. All right, later, bro. L later, guys. Have a great stream. See you. What a nice young man is all I have to say. What a nice young man. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I wish he would have summoned the VWXYZ. I can't believe I fucked that up. I like made that attack and then I like looked over and I was like, fuck, when did I get a 1600 attack point <laughs> life points? Shit. Uh, all right, let me do, um, let me do subs real quick. And then we're going to, we're going to go back to parasocial time. We'll get on the Japanese train. Y'all okay with that? Everyone, everyone feeling good about that? Did you cut your hair? It fell out. No, I cut it because Farfa won't get off my ass. Team Samurai X1, thank you so much for the 20 gifties. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you for uh, fucking taking me to school, too, and then <laughs> paying my tuition, apparently. Oh, my God. I, you, oof. I'm shocked I took the one game off. ABC is it is a hell of a card. Ugh. All right. Uh, let me do Let me do thanks. Um, Lizards5311, thank you so much for the subscription. Uh, Sohami, thank you for the 21. Uh, Exorin, thank you for the 5. Um, Shadowblade8902, thank you for the five. Uh, Roandry, thank you for the five. Gifted subs. Mikhail, thank you for the 15. And we are good. Now, folks, that was pretty high energy. It's time to slow things down and get my ass on. Uh, Japanese train. Folks, we love getting on the Japanese train. We're all getting on the Japanese train together. Going to Japan. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Whew. Finally, we're done with Yu-Gi-Oh. Nah, we're going to play a little Yu-Gi-Oh later, too. Sorry to burst your bubble. Uh, we're going to be watching uh, Sam. Uh, not Sam. We're going to be watching Doug and Farfa and Nim Nim. They're all going to be playing some Saga. Different SA word. Um, and then after that, we're going to do our Twitter thread. I'm really excited about this Twitter thread. I think it's got some really good answers. I, I like the prompt. Not to toot my own horn, but I like the prompt. And uh, then maybe later tonight, we'll play a little b a lot row. <sighs> I hate this stream. Hi, Siberian. Good to have you here. Ugh. Did I watch the Bellatro Invitational? No. Why would I watch the Bellatro Invitational? It's a waste of time. It doesn't have the only person who matters. The only individual who's actually good at the fucking game. You know who it is. I'm talking about Luke Von Karma. Yeah, I'm talking about Luke Von Karma. I'm talking about Luke Von Karma. It's, it's got to be Luke Von Karma. It's fucked up, by the way. Leah did a Bellatro stream, and I was just like, I was like, Danny, tell me it wasn't you. Danny, tell me she was just looking at the trending game section. Tell me that it wasn't you. Tell me that. It, tell me, please tell me. And he's like, it was me. I was like, fuck. So mad. I was fuming. How could he do this to me? How's your Wednesday going? Mine's going crazy. Every Wednesday I have is just crazy. I just wake up and it's, it's, uh, it's just work, 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 work from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed. I have to read for class tomorrow, but it's the period in the semester when I'm not doing a lot of reading because I'm not really paying much attention anymore. You know, I tune out about three quarters of the way through the class and, you know, here we are. Um, I'm actually really concerned because in two of my classes, I literally don't know anything. I like one of my classes. I think I'm already ready to take the final. Like, I think I could take the final tomorrow. Um, and you don't get that often in law school. But um, the other two... One of them is it, not going well. I literally don't know anything. And the third one is also not going well, but it's a subject that has already been beaten to death, so there's like a billion study guides for it. Ugh. Ugh. 
It's one of those, what courses are they? One is about the statute that guides the benefits given to employees by employers. The statute's name is ERISA. And it is a very, very like nitty gritty specifics of the law class. And I, I just can't stay awake in it. And it's taught by two teachers and one of the teachers uses PowerPoints, which is great. Uh, and the other one just rambles and that's useless to me. Um, and it also sucks because some of the people in the class are cheating insofar as they work in the healthcare industry. And it's like, well, you already know this shit, asshole. Some of us don't. Uh, and the other class is evidence. Like, I'm not going to fucking, I'm, I'm going to do what I have to to get through evidence. Do you know what sort of job you want to use your degree with? Yeah, streamer. <laughs> I talk about this every time we talk about law school, but like, my goal is to get a degree. And then continue streaming. Uh, one thing that always fucks me up in school, though, is if I go into the day with stuff to do for work, then I will do the work during the class. Like uh, writing a TMT or uh, putting together the new Patreon card or something. So uh, to, for tomorrow, I literally have gotten everything done. I'm so excited. It's actually weird. So many people cheat in college, like actually te cheat on tests and projects. Yeah, that weirded me out too. Like seeing the uh, the chat GPT thing where people were like, yeah, 23 of my students used chat GPT. I'm all, I always think to myself, I'm like, don't you worry about getting caught? Because a lot of these classes, especially if the way you cheat is plagiarism, they don't fuck around. They just expel you. Like, I couldn't be me. Like, I had a class that was, I clearly didn't understand the subject material, and it was a paper class, which meant I needed to write, like, a like a, a, a big-ass paper at the end of the year. And uh, I just didn't understand the subject material. And a bunch of people I know were like, you should use ChatGPT. And I was like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. And I threw together just a really bad paper, and I turned it in. And, and I, got, I got an okay grade in the class. I didn't even get, like, a bad grade, but I, I turned it in. And uh, someone in the class got expelled for using ChatGPT. They got, uh, they got owned. It was fucked up. Um, just don't copy paste what it gives you. Uh, the tools for figuring it out are so that the, what's crazy about chat GPT is like the tools for cheating are advancing at about the same rate as the tools for catching cheating. <laughs> There was that Twitter freak that we talked about the other week who was like, uh, maybe they just locked in instead of using ChatGPT. And actually, assuming that a student used ChatGPT is low-key kind of ableist, because what if they're just bad at expressing their ideas until it really matters? And it was like, I think you people just don't understand the scale of this thing. Like, in any given college or, or higher education class, at least, at least one student is just coasting off ChatGPT. And like, if you're a teacher you can recognize that happening. <clears throat> I don't know. Ugh, what did I do today? I put together the member video. I've actually had a ton of fun doing the uh, the member videos for, uh, for YouTube. Um, I, I don't really have a rhythm to them yet. I don't really know what I want them to be. So far, they're either like a video I got like 30% of the way done with, and I was like, ah, uh, there's no reason to upload this. And then I was like, ah, well, I'll upload it as a member video. Or they're like a discussion that I don't think can be fleshed out to eight minutes or is like the one for this month is time dependent. It's about like the ban list and I didn't want to invest time in it just for the ban list to be released. Um, if you're interested uh, at the five dollar or at any level, I think on Patreon or YouTube membership, uh, which you can find by going exclamation mark socials on chat, we'll get you a link to a new it's like seven minutes and 10 seconds video talking about the options that Konami has when it comes to uh to banning for snake eyes and i think they're pretty few and far between um but the gist of it is i really hope that they consider exclusively unbans as a mechanism to correct it like i think like certainly i think that there should be a slap on the wrist to snake eyes but the way that manifests is actually really hard to figure out but it would really help if like car uh, decks like uh, rescue ace and pearly and unchained also got their shit back i i hate to do this i don't think tier Lament can have kid Kalos back but i think the rest of them can have stuff
the fact that airlifter is limited is just comical, right? It's just like so funny. Can I ask, beyond a, beyond a monetary reason, is there any reason why it should be just a slap on the wrist? Well, the short of it is, and I, I might get some hate for this, I think Snake Eye is a really good and healthy deck. I think it's fun. I think it, ha it is adaptable. It has a lot of play to it. Um, it's easy to understand the rhythm of the deck if you're playing against it. It's not one of those decks where you're like, what the fuck are they doing? Its games are variable. Um... There's never a game you play against Snake Eye where you shut them all the way out, and there's never a game where it feels like they shut you all the way out, with a couple of notable exceptions. The issue is, it's just a an adaptable, powerful strategy that's a little bit better than every other strategy. And uh, that's just, like, I, I think it would slot very nicely into a healthy metagame that includes strategies like Unchained or like Rescue Ace or like Pearly. It's a perfectly healthy 2025 meta deck in 2024. No, I think it's a perfectly healthy 2023 uh, deck, but they banned all the 2023 decks. <clears throat> Probably ban Link Haribo. I, I think the Link Haribo ban... That's one of the things I talk about in the video. I like it a lot. I think it doesn't solve the problem, obviously. They just use a Nima. But the secondary problem of Link Haribo is as soon as you do your first Link Haribo combo, then you can never resolve an Imperm or a uh, Veiler ever again. That sucks. Like, I fucking hate that. <laughs> Ban Amblo Whale? They don't even play Amblo Whale. Ban Amblo Whale is a master duel hit, but they don't even play Amblo Whale in the TCG. I'm pretty sure Christian Uranus deck didn't play it. Banhita? Maybe. You know? How do you feel about hitting Apo? I'd love it. I think Apo is just so absolutely toxic. I can, like, get behind... I think that, like, Baron and uh, Borload the Synchro are... Fine. Like, I would prefer all of them to go. Um, but I think that Apo is, like, a notch above those in terms of design mistakes. I don't know. But if you want to hear that discussion in full, um, memberships, etc., what else? I played some cello today. I'm feeling... Ugh, I'm feeling good. Uh, maybe someday I'll play some cello for stream. But I'm feeling good. I'm playing this Brave All piece. It's not super hard, but it sounds nice. I've been, I've been doing good at it. Um, We filmed a Will. And I yell it at peeps in it. We, we had another disagreement. I'm super happy to say. Ugh. It's just been a, a lot this week. I feel like my week is structured in such a way that, like, I feel like I have to bum rush, get everything done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday I'm in school, and then Friday is, like, nothing. I literally have nothing to do by Friday, which is good because it means I can, like, take a three-day weekend, but it also means I'm, like, Pfft. um, Jillian's not around this weekend, so I, I'm playing all the Challenger Cups, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday Challenger Cups. I'm really excited for those. I've been kind of going hard testing for Master Duel. Who knew that all I needed was a competent tournament infrastructure to get invested in something like that? And, uh... Will you stream any of your runs? Probably not. I, I like that they're not, like, capital C content. Are you going to 30 this weekend? Ah, uh, we'll see how I'm feeling. I know what I would play, but we'll see how I'm feeling. <laughs> Snake Eye and Lab are going to be a menace. I'm sure, I'm glad Crip is hosting one. He'll give great commentary. I'm going to be honest, I am just a little, like, 
darkly interested in how the Crip one is going to go. So for those of you that don't know, um, they've pretty much already exhausted all the people that could conceivably run a good Challenger Cup. It was like Zara, Shiggy's, APS, Pheromone, and now they're like, fuck. Can APS do two or three more? And then they were like, god damn it. Uh, uh, Dodo? And then Dodo was like pulled out, and they were like, fuck, okay. Um, uh, Crip. So Crip has worked with Konami before. He did the, uh, the Eric Stewart VTuber event, and he basically spent the entire stream being like, what the fuck? fuck are these cards which to be fair is a pretty adequate first you know impression of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links like I'm sure what happened is he was like I'm sorry I can't play like a high level game like within 30 minutes of learning about it that's just not how I work and they were like don't worry Duel Links is easy that's probably exactly what they told him and they were like don't worry this is a lot less complicated and it's not it uses the same game pieces it's just different <laughs> Uh, so that's why I think the door is kind of, it's a little open for me. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think me and Konami are going to be pretty good friends. Konami, once again, I know that I look insane on social media. I will not bring any of that insanity to a master, uh, master, <laughs> a master dual cup. I will, I will be normal. I will say things like, yeah, in the Labyrinth matchup, you really want to be utilizing your IP Mask Arena to go for cards like Nightmare Phoenix and Nightmare Unicorn. That way your opponent doesn't have the resources to summon powerful monsters on your turn. You know, that's, I'm going to be saying shit like that. <laughs> oh my god. Danny would make a good host. Danny would make a good host. I, I wonder if he could get it. I wonder. I wonder if people are, are asking them. I already know that I'm like functionally a... a not ever going to be allowed to host one of these. I wonder if Danny could. The problem is Danny is just as insane as me. <laughs> but he doesn't bother them as much. He hides it better? I don't think that's true. Have you received official word you won't? No, but... It's because they hate white people. That's true. <sighs> they should get peeps and I wish. Don't worry about the view counts. People will love them. If they get peeps, I think peeps is a distinct possibility. I think peeps hits a sweet spot for them. But the thing with peeps is... He's actually insane. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. I don't think they're too care. They don't care too much about view counts, right? I think they care about producing like a slick production. Cause like I love Zara, I love Shiggy's, I love I love Pheromone, but like they were all at fifty or less the whole time. And it was like, okay, I mean, you know, it is what it is. You're asking them to put it on their personal channel instead of an official Yu-Gi-Oh channel. They're gonna get whatever their personal channel's numbers are. Um, so clearly, I don't think they're too incentivized by view counts. I think they're just incentivized by, like, putting together a product that looks professional. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't know. They might do it with SEMO. Maybe they've gotten over themselves. Doug could be a good pick. I don't think they'll work with Doug. Gage would make sense? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, why don't they use a uh, decade? I think decade decade would be great. <laughs> But, like, it, it puts them in a weird position because, like, who are they going to use now, right? They're out of people. Like, everyone left does things Konami hates, you know? Utilizes third-party non-Master Duel simulators. Uh, says cuss words on their streams. Uh, is funny, you know? Is, is interesting, you know? <laughs> 
Ugh. Hard leg. Oh. Yeah, I guess they could use hard leg. Although hard leg spends a lot of time on like Omega. DBG. Give it to. Please give DBG a Challenger Cup. Please give DBG a Challenger Cup. <laughs> I'm begging you. Oh, man. No, but I'm going to be playing in the Challenger Cups this weekend. I'm super excited for it. I still have so much to learn. The, the problem I'm having is, is not necessarily not having enough time or not enough practice. It's using my practice effectively. Because, like, Snake Eye is a deck that just has so many decision points, and it's hard to determine if you have or have not won a game because of a decision you made. Like, it's hard to be like, this was the game determinative point. Here's what I should have done better. I'll remember it in the future. But, you know, it is what it is. They could maybe get Ruxin. Ruxin... <laughs> Uh. Could you see them giving TSX 1-1? One, one? <sighs> if they were smart, they would probably give the largest Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube presence a, a fucking Challenger Cup. But hey, what do I know? You know. All right. You want to do some Twitter freaks? I Wednesday Twitter freaks are always a little weird because like I always think, oh, there won't be freaks. We just did freaks, but people are just so freakish on Tuesday evening. I don't know what it is. I don't know why they're like that. I it, it, It's just very strange to me personally. Um, but people decide. They go, I, I don't know. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's roll them up, baby. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, God. There's some... What, what was the last one that we... Oh, man. Uh... Okay, okay. We did the um did we talked about the loot boxes thing, right? Uh on Tuesday. Yeah, okay, good. Then I know where we are in my bookmarks. Oh. No, I'm not I'm not reading a Scarlon post. Nice try though. Oh. Uh, did I do the Kanye West Yahoo Mario Mario Time one? No. Okay, good. We'll do that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> God, we got a lot of good ones today. Uh, first and foremost, let's talk about this one. Okay, so this person posts um, about. Uh, She's on. Th this is some drama that I don't fucking know about. It's like uh, someone was uh, whining that they had been sexualized online, and this person quote tweeted and said, "Oh, well, you post things where you wear revealing outfits." And this person is like, "What she's talking about is some people made AI porn of her. You uh, crazy?" And this person goes, "Cry more, beta boy." And then I got just blindsided by this unbelievable combo. You, no real PFP, no bitches, only like sports. Me, real face, post my girl all the time, many hobbies, 6'6", six, six. better than you at every land sport, better than you at every video game easy. You got nothing going on in your life, so you got nothing to post. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, he just said one, you don't have to do him like that, he said one sentence. I just saw this while scrolling, and I was like, what the fuck? He came in here fucking guns blazing. Oh, <laughs> oh holy. Hey, you know, I do like I'm I'm taller than you, I'm hotter than you, my bitch is better than yours. I will beat you at any sport and any video game. <laughs> Incredible. Uh 
<laughs> Many hobbies. Holy. Okay, next up. One of my favorite features of this website is when somebody reaches deep inside themselves to find the universal truths about humanity, and what they dredge up from the depths is screenful after screenful of thoughts you've never, ever had in your life. This is me on some will of the councils when I'm like, we all think that and no one else thinks it, but here's this. Deep down, no one, no actual man wants a healthy girl. We want the polar opposite. A girl who is raw vegan, vapes, drinks does hard drugs, high cardio, long fasts, anorexia, for the simple reason of having hero syndrome, bringing light into their life and being their savior. Just so she admires the man, not only for uh, what he is, but for what he did for her. Being with a healthy, raw, organic girl makes her look like a man has gone through there, which makes you never top that man, no matter how much you do. You might feel this way, but trust, it's I'm bedded in your conscious. No, you're... You're a freak. I don't... Sometimes people say something like, I don't think men actually like women. And I'm like, oh, here we go. More like second wave, like anti-male nonsense. And then I read a post like this and I'm like, they're kind of spitting. Like this is... How, like how... This person probably describes themselves as a heterosexual, right? How? This is just evil. You're, you're just a villain. It's crazy. I'm thinking about the Northern Lion clip. I, I just don't, that's, I'm, I'm just thinking about the Northern Lion clip. Next up. <laughs> Everyone in Japan will be called Sato by 2531 unless marriage law changed, says professor. This fucking kicks ass. So I've seen this like four or five times this weekend. The short of it is my understanding is that in Japan, there's a law where you take the name of the person you marry, I think if you're a woman. And the way that numbers work, the current most popular last name will be the exclusive last name by 2531. <laughs> Let me just tell you, first off, hopefully the government of Japan will rescind this law in 500 years. Uh, secondly, uh, don't worry, we ain't making it that far. <laughs> uh, holy. All right, next up. Big goat. When I first saw this, I literally, I, I had this like stop and watch the whole, that's not a goat, right? This is some kind of like, like demonic entity. There's no shot. This is a goat. It's like nine feet tall. It looks like a demon. This is some sort of skinwalker or monster. Wow. 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 But it is a really big goat. There's a reason the devil is depicted as a goat. Yeah, it's this guy right here. Oh, he's gross. Ugh. Next up. <laughs> it's it's been nice. <laughs> SpaceX says it plans to launch a privately crewed mission for the moon next year. This being covered as a fun hijink for rich people, but the idea of a private corporation having access to the moon should give you pause. The moon is probably the most tactically valuable military ground for Earth. Rocks dropped from there have powers of hundreds of nuclear bombs. Does she think it works like, um, like the Empire State Building? <laughs> <laughs> you just drop like, man, if you drop a penny from the moon, by the time it hits uh, the United States, it will destroy the nation in one hit. Wow. That's crazy. That's really good. Motherfucker has never heard of terminal philosophy. I think she's never heard of gravity. 
You can't drop something from the moon onto Earth. <laughs> okay, uh, next up. What if I throw really hard? It's going to end up in the Earth's orbit. I mean, if you if you throw really hard, I think you're better off just jumping while on Earth and throwing straight down. <laughs> if you could throw hard enough to defeat re-entry, just throw. You are already an unkillable god. All right, next up. <laughs> okay. Look at the... I, I, I have nothing to say about this caption, which is implying that this guy is actually secretly evil. Look at these videos, man. Oh, you want to know another absolutely disgusting secret about men? That, oh, you want to know another absolutely disgusting secret about men? Oh, you want to know another absolutely disgusting secret about men? That, oh, you want to know another absolutely disgusting secret about men? Oh, you want to know another absolutely disgusting secret? Oh, you want to know another absolutely disgusting secret about? Oh, you want to know another absolutely disgusting secret about men? Oh, you want to know another absolutely disgusting secret about? Okay, I. I guess I'll say, terrible vibes awful vibes like truly evil vibes uh the funniest part of this though is that he is flexing in every single one look what he does with his arm every single one he like he's standing like this and then he goes ch -ch -ch -ch. every single time let me see. We'll just men watch it together. Oh, you want to know another absolutely disgusting secret yep. about men? That, oh, you want to know another absolutely Oh, he even does it when he's wearing a men. shirt that oh, obscures it. There it is. Yep. Yep. Same lean. About men that, oh, you want to know another absolutely Oh, yeah. Don't forget to flex. Oh, you want to know another absolutely Oh, yeah. Get it in there. Secret. Oh, you want to know another absolutely disgusting He's not doing it in that one. Oh, get it in there. Absolutely disgusting secret about men. Oh, you want to know another absolutely. It's not subtle. It's not subtle. It's not subtle. Good afternoon, Jank Enthusiasts. That's why I put the normal shorts in between the uh, the OMOs. I guess if you watch the uh, the one-minute overviews in sequence, it will look exactly like this. Next up. This is Ross Ulbricht's 11-year in prison. He received a life sentence for a website he created in his 20s. He had no priors and was never tried for causing harm or violence. Ross deserves a second chance. I agree. Now, what was the website that he made? It was fucking Silk Road. <laughs> oh, I guess it's illegal to make a website now. Website is the most effective drug trafficking ring in the history of time. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what they don't tell you about is the hitmen. Mm. Ugh, the replies are so funny. Yeah, he tried to hire multiple hitmen, and he was a job creator. <laughs> I feel like everyone has done something similar, though. True. That's literally true. Next up. Okay. This could be upper middle class if she stopped packing her husband so much goddamn food for lunch. Jesus, lady, that's three meals in there. I love watching the preparing my husband's lunch TikToks. There is not one of them that's normal. Let's watch this one together. Maybe. Pack lunch with me. Pack lunch with me for my husband, lower middle class wife. We got spaghetti. We're putting ranch on the spaghetti. That's how the hubby likes it. Uh, okay. Don't ask questions. I would ask Just a question. Give the man what he wants. Put uh, Some leftover chicken to go with it. Leftover chicken. I made chicken parmesan. Okay. Grilled chicken. Grilled chicken. You put it in with some some leaves for a salad. Don't like the don't like the American shredded cheese, but sure. Bacon bits. That's a staple. This is not how I would personally cut a tomato, but, uh, you know, to each their own. Some celery in there. Here's the, the chicken from earlier. I'm obsessed with Chick-fil-A's grilled nuggets. We'll put that on hubby. <laughs> 
Beautiful salad. <laughs> Boom. Then she puts some dressing on for the salad in its little lone container. All right. Leftover chicken parmesan. A grilled chicken side salad. Yep. Strawberry banana fair life protein shake. NOS energy drink. Cool blue Gatorade. Hubby has access to water at work. Fruit of the day, a nice juicy honey crisp apple. Some dressing for his salad, a pinwheel. Napkins, two forks, and his note. And there you have it, you guys. Hubby's lunch. Have a great day. Bye. I'm going to go out on a limb here. That's normal. That's completely fine. That's like I that's a that's a completely fine lunch. I I usually usually I I love watching these and making fun of the people who are making them. This is a completely normal lunch. I it is there's a couple things that are strange. One, it's a lot. Clearly the person works outside. It, you know, if they're working outside, they are burning a lot of calories. It makes sense for that reason. Secondly, ranch on the spaghetti. That's fucking insane. But she says in the video, that's fucking insane. She's like, I'm sorry, that is crazy. Like, I, but he wants what he wants. And I, I appreciate that she does it for him anyway. Uh, and the third thing is the drinks. There's like probably too many drinks in there. I don't think he needs the protein shake and the Gatorade and the energy drink. But outside of that, that is a completely normal, like, that's a completely normal munch. I'm sorry. It's a completely normal lunch. It's it's a lot. Don't get me wrong. I expect what's happening is he's not really eating breakfast and he comes home and eats a light dinner. Or sometimes not much at all. But like that is a completely normal lunch. There's nothing in there that I was like, oh God, here we go. Uh, oh. I think it's fine. It's completely normal except for the things that aren't. The things that aren't normal are only slightly abnormal, and most of them are explained by her in the video. I don't know. I can't help but watch her. I can't help but watch her put together this meal. Um make all these little jokes about like, oh, here's what he likes, and she she messes one up and she puts it in. It's just a charming, like authentic kind of of food preparation. That, you know, the, the ones where the insane woman makes uh, bread from scratch, those fill me with a sense of, of existential dread. But the one where the portly, trashy woman bags up uh, yesterday's leftover chicken parmesan into a Walmart bag, I identify with. This is fine. This is okay. This is one meal for peeps, yeah. <laughs> This is a real human being and I support them. Yeah. Like for those of you that aren't American, you have to understand probably three quarters of Americans eat like this. Maybe not every day, but occasionally. Next up. <laughs> Peeps eats a box of Triscuits, then this, and then wipes out Michigan's sewer system. All right. Next up. <laughs> this, this one's insane. Okay, so for this one to make sense, you need to know the right side is this woman making the original TikTok, and the left side is her reaction to someone who has stitched the original TikTok. Here we go. I told you that wasn't specific enough. First, I thought I'd use your headboard to locate your hotel since it's so unique. However, unfortunately for me, it seems as if this style of headboard is a lot more common than I thought it would be. And I realized I could actually use your room service again to narrow down your hotel because you ordered one very specific item, berry compote. So I decided to do a search for hotels with berry compote on their breakfast menu. Now, I didn't have a confirmation that your hotel was in London again, but I didn't get the sense that anyone was flying you anywhere, so I decided to start there. And looking for London hotels with berry compote on their breakfast menu, I only got one direct hit. Firmdale Hotels. A hotel chain with five hotels in London. 
Ham Yard, Haymarket, Soho, Charlotte, and Covent Garden. Went through the breakfast menus of all five hotels, and Soho was the only location that had berry compote listed on their menu. Additionally, they had smoked salmon scrambled eggs, which you also ordered. And going back to my headboard search from earlier, I realized that all the hotels that popped up were actually all Firmdale locations. It didn't take me long to realize we were staying in the deluxe terrace room, matching the headboard, <laughs> wallpaper, and artwork shown here to the headboard, wallpaper, and artwork in your video. Looking out your window, we can see that you're directly across from a building that has horizontal slats running across the side, which is this building right over here, which means you have to be in one of these two terrace rooms. However, from the window, we can also see that there is a railing separating a terrace to the left of you, which means you must be looking through the window on this terrace. You can even see that this table over here is directly behind you in your video, which means your room is right here, the deluxe terrace room, the second southernmost room on the sixth floor of the Soho Hotel on Richard Mews in London. I'm glad you decided to wait to post until after you left this time. Okay. We got to stop these people. Uh, <laughs> Rainbolt has created an entire group of uh, these people who are horrifying, really evil, <laughs> terrible, awful vibes. Um, but I got to say, this TikTok is great. Like, while he's describing it with the fucking L theme in the background, while she's in the corner going, no, no, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> like and it, and the stakes get raised every single cut it's like okay i he knows that i'm in one of these hotels nope he knows the exact hotel nope he knows the exact type of room nope he knows the exact room no he knows the exact location in that room <laughs> holy shit oh my god uh. oh my god I do. I do gotta say, I I <laughs> I do eat up this content. <laughs> I, I I'm like, oh man, this is scary. But I will be watching all of them. Okay, next up. Twenty eighteen meme calendar part two. All right. I just want you all. Let me know when you're tapped out. Let me know when you can't fucking take it anymore. All right, ready. Don't worry, it'll get better. Get, get ready for February. You're going to really like it. I'm already Tracer. I'm already Tracer. What about Widowmaker? I'm already Widowmaker. I'll be Bastion. No, don't worry. It's going to get better in April. I want to be Wednesday. Okay. It's like inoffensive. It's just a fucking... It's the yodeling kid. Play me some of that jumping music. Okay. You said jumping? Memes were so much better back in the day. I. Man. I remember someone made one of these for like 2017, and it started like. Let me see if I can find it. The meme of the month calendar in 2017. It was like big chungus, like uh, fidget spinners. Here come that boy. Just like. I can't believe we used to be like this online. You're going to link this to me? You're going to link this to me and make me upset? 2016 meme calendar. Oh, come on. Uh, I don't need to see this. Uh, oh, you remember Humongous? You remember how funny that was? Uh... Do you remember when um 
When the Barry B. Benson that was kind of moaning was the meme of the month. You guys remember Left Shark? <laughs> this one's incomprehensible. But do you remember when it was like, I remember someone tried to do one for 2020. And it was like January, like murder hornets, February, like, oh, COVID. And then it was just like, nine of the like withered ass woe jack in a row it was like no i'm glad we all stopped doing this during the pandemic it was just it was no there was no longer a reason to do it oh yes. when was big chungus Twenty nineteen? There's no way. I'm looking it up. Where is Big Chungus on here? Where's the Big Chungo meme? I saw it. I don't see it here. December. There it is, the Big Chungus. There he is. This is sicko mode. That's so true. Okay, next up. Okay, let's talk about this one. This one's so good. This comes from at libs suck a big one. <laughs> uh, NYC, folks. Greatest city in the world? Not anymore. This is lower Manhattan. All right, let's see what happens in this horrifying clip of what's going on in the biggest city in the world. I literally live in Guatemala. I literally live in Guatemala. Oh, my. Wait, hold up. I'm gonna figure. Oh no! Hold up! I'm gonna figure it out. So unbelievably disgusting and tragic. And so tragic. unbelievably disgusting and tragic. What is? What is this? I mean, really? Do we need ten stands of the same shit? Well, I'm going to say what no one else is willing to say, which is that the West has fallen. Uh, <laughs> man, what the fuck? Oh, come on. She's like mad about the grapes in a cup. She's mad that there's like people selling Sprite on the sidewalk. Come on. Jesus Christ. Do we need 15 different stands selling the same shit? Yes. I, I, I'm, I'm fine with it. That's what I say when I when an ice cream truck drives by. Okay. Do we need another one of these? Jesus Christ! I'm sorry. Not not only like, not to not to be ah New York about this, but like, this is also like nothing. Like there are there are New York there are places in New York City that are way more dense than this, with way more people selling food from carts. But this is like the only one she feels safe enough to go to or something. It's it's so fucking freakish. Weird ass behavior. Weird fucking South Ferry Station. Got it. Weird fucking behavior. I, I just can't. Oh, my God. It's this is fine. I'm sorry. This is fine. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what's supposed to be maddening about this. But come on. Me in a farmer's market, society has fallen. No, you don't understand. Farmer's markets are mostly white people. <laughs> That's the difference. Click here to blast the newbies with vintage MBT. What do you got for me? Because it is significantly different than the last time I played this deck. What, what do we got? Because it is significantly different than the last time I played this deck. Uh, so let's run through the choices real quick. Uh, hit or miss? I guess they never miss. Huh? Uh... Damn, I'm fucking, I was on top of the 2018 meme calendar. Holy shit. I really was. <laughs> Next up. Obsessed with this person on TikTok whose account is solely based around her husband consuming an unholy amount of cheese and being unrepentant about it. Honest to God. 
I can't take you nowhere. You're sitting in Morrison's. Well, that don't mean to sit there and eat cheese, does it, Mark? People are saying what's going to happen to you and you don't care, do you? You don't want to be with me no more, do you, clearly? Because you don't love me, do you? Well, if you'd love me, you wouldn't keep eating it, would you? Because I'm getting the blame for it. People's blaming me for it. I'm not on about who buys it. They're telling me to stop you eating it. <laughs> I, God forbid men do anything. <laughs> I love it. He's just like, it, I, I fell into a rabbit hole on this guy after seeing this. Basically, he eats at least a block of cheese every single day. He's like always eating cheese. And everyone in the comments is always like, why is he eating cheese? Stop him. And like <laughs> he just gets a block of cheese and eats it. Every He's in great shape. He's like shredded. But I love this. I love this fucking. <laughs> or oh, you don't love me anymore, do you? He goes, no, I love you. He goes, well, clearly you don't because you're still eating the cheese. He's like, bah. <laughs> they say They say you're going to die if you keep eating the cheese like this. Bah. <laughs> sits down in the middle of a grocery store to eat a block of cheese she goes why are you sitting down eating a block of cheese and he points to the please take a seat she's like yeah that's you're not supposed to eat a block of cheese <laughs> all i have to say is it's it's his life man he's allowed to do what he wants is there any food you would leave your wife over no i can make do certainly not my block of cheese a day <laughs> uh this man does not shit normally i mean maybe it is peeps Okay, next up, let's talk about American hero Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> okay, so uh, this past weekend, um, uh, Kyle Rittenhouse took what's called uh, the ASVAB, which is the test you take to get into, like, the Marine Corps. And it's not <sighs> to any Marines in my audience. You know, I don't want to set you off, but it's not a real test. It's a test to figure out if you're breathing it's basically a test to figure out if like your brain is connected enough to your limbs and organs that you can operate them. Um, it's, it's a test for, uh, babies <laughs> and he, uh, here's, let's just read what he posted in follow up to the written house request. The most received confirmation through the U S army and USMC recruiting, uh, command efforts that in January, 2020, he took a USMC entrance exam and did not meet service eligibility requirements. His test score was far below the required minimum, and he was permanently disqualified from entering the USMC. Um, that is so funny. Uh, <laughs> they were like, do not test again. But people figured it out in the comments. People figured it out in the comments. Uh, it is not that he scored very low. It's that they invented him scoring low as a reason to deny him because the real reason they denied him is after he finished taking the test, he was blacklisted because he kept sending recruiters videos of him assembling and disassembling his AR-15. So he took the test and then he was like, and let me sweeten the pot for you here. And sends them like a YouTube link of being like, Oorah, I will now take apart my service weapon. <laughs> and they were like, we can't have this fucking freak anywhere near a weapon. Absolutely not. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Holy shit. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, man. I knew a guy who got a 12 on the ASVAB and they wavered him. Come on. <sighs> okay, next up. This one is unbelievable. Okay, so these people are doing some sort of annoying ass subway interview show. Um, and in case you're wondering why they're talking into their Metro card, they have clipped a lav mic onto the Metro card to talk into it. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. That's a cool idea. This is called Subway Takes. Let's watch this. So what's your take? My take is that all guys think they want to date the like cool, hot, artsy, baddie girlfriend with like baby bangs and a bad father, but that's actually not the case at all. What all guys in New York want is to date the like candid girlfriend. You can trademark that. Candid girlfriend is a girl who's like five, five and a half, naturally thin, has mousy brown hair, no longer than shoulder length. She's like from New Hampshire, maybe studied art history. And I would say the biggest part of her personality is that she like loves pomegranate. And her boyfriend thinks that's like so quirky and adorable. 100% agree. She's never the like 
overt center of attention, but her boyfriend is always posting film photos of her, hashtag 35 millimeter, on his Instagram story, and she's always just kind of like, the candid girl is the patient zero of the pick me girl. She's not even trying to be pick me. She just authentically has nothing what going on in her me brain. Girl? Pick me girl is a girl who pretends to be interesting and unique to get attention. This girl just has nothing going on in her brain. She like likes good pottery. <laughs> and so all guys want that? All guys want that because they can make a muse out of her. Also, this girl is always referred to as this one in the caption of the photo. Happy birthday to this one. And it's always like a photo of the back of her head. They're like in Tokyo on vacation in the spring. Do you know what I'm talking about? They like both love Japanese culture, but they're both white. I've really only seen her on like the third slide of like an IG photo dump on her boyfriend's Instagram. I would love to meet one of them. I'm a girl's girl. I want to see you up close. I want to touch your skin. I her name's Emily. They're taking the hot men. Um, so it starts and I'm like, oh yeah, this is a classic, classic. Wait, hold up. When she gets to the, uh, when she gets to the loves pomegranate, it's like, oh, wait a minute. This is just someone, you know, right? This is like clearly one person, you know? And then when she's like, when she gets to the hashtag 35 millimeter, I'm like, oh, this is really someone you know. Uh, I, I really like the concept that like, <laughs> she's always referred to as this one in the caption of the photo. And it's a picture of the back of her head. And they go to Tokyo in the spring because they love Japanese culture, but they're white. And I'm like, I think that, I think this may be a situation where you think that something is like a universal experience, but I think there's just one person who wronged you. And I really like this one right here. This is my favorite quote of the thing. An IG photo dump on her boyfriend's Instagram. I would love to meet one of them. I'm a girl's girl. I'm yeah. For sure. <laughs> I'm a girl's girl. <laughs> oh, man. This has got to be a bit. It's got to be a bit. I'm just going to need it to be a bit. I don't think that someone like this narcissistic actually exists. But the problem is that like people who are close to this do absolutely want to be on the camera and do like uh, like a like a, a combination Northern Lion rant and Red Scare bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every podcaster sounds like this. Okay. All right. Folks, subscribe to Will the Council. Next up. She's a comedian. Um, get better material. What the fuck? How could this happen? Let's listen to it once. Ooh, I love my wife. I love my wife. Ah! Let's go ride a bike with my wife. Ah! My, my wife's, wife's really young. young. My, my wife is real small. small. Let's go to the beach and play with the beach ball. ball. Praise, Praise be to Jesus, Jesus God, God and my wife. wife. Let's, Let's go, go to the beach and ride a bike. bike. Ooh, I love my wife. I love my wife. Ah! Ooh, I love my wife. She is so fine. Ah! <sighs> Man, how do you fuck this up? Album called The Big Day. Won't stop talking about how great it is that he's finally found someone for him. Then they get divorced. Come on. I Okay, I, I'm going to say it because I think no one else is man enough to say it. Do you think it's possible she divorced him because The Big Day was ass? She was like, that's what you thought of our big day? A one out of ten. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, that's that's so rough. That's terrible. It's it's awful. Um, <laughs> the next album is going to be a horrorcore album. You, I think the worst case scenario is the next album is called Acid Rap 2. It's the sequel to the mixtape. And then it's good. Like it, the worst case scenario is like he starts making exactly the same type of music he was making in 2015 and it's leagues better than anything he's put out this decade, right? That would be, I think, that would be hell for me. I'd be like, I don't believe in marriage as an institution anymore. I guess I should be taking drugs. My prediction is that it becomes Hobson. 
Uh, ain't no shame in my game. Hello, how you doing? I can give you good massage. Okay, we're not doing that. Okay, we're going to end on... Uh, oh, we got two more. Okay, first up. hey oh, hey, what's up? Not much. What about you? Yeah, not much either. One of the dogs got ran over today, but it happens. Mm -hmm. Apologies for the interruption. I'm a digital artist offering quick commissions at affordable rates. If you're interested, I can share some of my work with you. Very true. And finally, on the on the topic of uh, of rappers who have been on Kanye West albums, let's talk about Kanye West. Kanye West is being sued for workplace abuse. Employees claim Ye threatened him by saying, I'm going to punch you in the face before abruptly changing tone, mimicking Super Mario's victory dance and saying, I'm going to give you one more chance, another life. Ye went on a rant about Hitler's greatness, said the Holocaust was fake, and then had staff members come to the meeting room to watch the Batman on mute in silence. <laughs> Told employees if they got fat, they would get fired. At Donda Academy, wanted to introduce a jail where he would lock kids in cages and threatened to go after the LGBTQ community next because gay people are controlled by Bill Gates so they don't have children for population control. Oh, boy. <laughs> How did Peggy produce for this? Hey, whoa, hey. You all are fake fans, all right? Man, this is... um. Oh boy. This is good. These are good. Uh, <laughs> obviously, the worst one here is probably the Hitler stuff or the Holocaust stuff. Uh, but... <laughs> come, <laughs> come to the conference room. We're all going to watch the Batman, but with the sound off. <laughs> I got to know if he did the Mario voice Why, when he said, I'm going to give you one more chance. I got to know. I got to know if he, if he did, the whole bit is worth it. If he didn't, yeah, it's probably not okay. <laughs> I need to hear him doing it. <laughs> oh, man. This is the average Switch owner? Yeah. Kanye West starts praising Hitler after hour 97 of trimming the herbs. Uh, he's, he's gonna have, yeah, he's gonna have the falling in reverse cover on the next album. My life is like a video game, trying hard to beat the stage. All while she is still collecting alimony. Bing. All right, let's fucking watch Saga. Okay, where were we? Uh, is it what have we done? Or is it you have no choice? I think it's what have we done. And new this season were... Oh, it's 10? Oh, it's 10, okay. What do you got for me? You're ordering an amazing digital circus Happy Meal at 3 a.m. No way, Justin. Bad things happen when you order Happy Meals at 3 a.m. Don't worry so much, Adam. You just stay here and play some Roblox. I'm gonna go get the Happy Meal. All right, I'll play Roblox. Yep, I'll have uh, one amazing digital circus Happy Meal, please. <laughs> I ordered a Happy Meal at 3 a.m., but it is no ordinary Happy Meal. It is actually a cursed, amazing digital circus Happy Meal, guys. There's Pomni, there's Jax, there's Kane. This is gonna be one of the... Hell yeah. This is what you and Danny do. It is. It is literally me, what me and Danny do. However, um, I will say their editor has got to be having fun. I, I imagine so. Um, I do have to say about this. CJ Ellis pointed this out. If you listen closely, you can hear underneath the audio track. There's like someone whispering. He's like, there's like weird little like half speaking. Yeah, it's like dissonant whispering on the audio track. The audio track, okay. So what we found out when we looked at one of these on stream the other time is that the audio track is a looped, like, four-minute audio piece that does all the, like, ding! Like, wow! Like, all the little, like, um, uh, meme sounds. It's like... Like, here, we'll just play for two seconds. Today we are ordering an amazing digital circus Happy Meal at 3 a.m. No way, just Like, the ding! The, the, yeah, it's just a bunch of sound bites, and like they're not synced to anything. It's just playing on loop in the background, 
And whatever they're using now also has like weird whispering in it. It's like, yeah. And I, I guess it's meant to like fill space or like, you know, if you're a baby, it's probably uh, listenable, but oh my God. It's sensory sounds. I think it literally is. I don't think it's subliminal messaging. I think it's literally just, it's just noise. All right, let's watch Saga. Welcome to Master Saga Season 5. This season, I've invited Barfa and okay. Nim Nim to join so me. So this episode is going to be really crazy for a number of reasons. The most important of them is the banning. So the banning for this episode caused a huge stir on Twitter.com. So I'm excited to see what they fuck up so badly that they have to apologize for it in the future. I'm going to throw up the memes tweet even though no one ever responds to it. Previously on Master Saga. Yeah, I mean, we'll triple for And I'm going to pee while they do previously. Ab cologne. At My least. Life is like a video game Excuse me? <laughs> cannot be destroyed by battle. Are you kidding? I didn't even know that. I didn't know that either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time I learned that one, too. We're going to discard Shadal Ariel. Oh, okay. That sounds so safe. It now sounds like you've won the duel, right? I have a counter, bro. You thought you were you thought you were so. What ready. is it called? The haunted or something? It is what? The, I thought <laughs> I was I being will... so smart. Yaga. Yeah, hey, hey, what up? How you doing, Farfa? All right, what are we doing to get uh, no. the uh, Dzeev's deck? Oh, hi, dog. Oh wow! When I try to conspire, it's let's all go tell each other, bro. But but <laughs> now that Farfa got caught red-handed, there's going to be no consequences. Shit, sure. I'll be back. Okay, so Nadir. We're hitting. What do you want? What are you hitting from Gage? He's probably muted, talking to his chat about how much he hates this. Oh no, he got up too. They both got up. Hit. What are we doing the thing now? Well, Gage is not here. Oh, so real we're, quick, we're, we're I was scheming. gonna say, okay. I feel like we have to DPE and like Lovely have to be banned, right? I think okay, I'm. Okay, what are we banning from Farfa? <laughs> Welcome to the second Master Saga ban list of Season 5. Today we are back kind of doing the same thing as last time. We'll all get to ban and okay. limit one card from each of the other players. Uh, I'm moving over here for this. I think this is the most effective. This time around. So after okay, wild all the card bans and limits, this is the thing all you apologize three of us for. are going to write down one extra ban, and then we'll reveal them at the same time. So if there's like... It's mind melds! a duplicate you don't like get an extra ban or anything and you can ban That's kind, it's kind of the opposite of mine melts. There, which should be pretty fun i'll start with the bans i will ban dpe that is my first ban get that the fuck out of here i like dpe i liked losing eight cards that was good <laughs> why don't you go next gage you can do one of your bans oh okay it's gonna be All tactical right. here you know yeah <laughs> a little bit doug i look far if i was talking about sharing a brain cell i'm sure we can share on this one doug how I've dare you get talk behind of, my back I've, Gotta get rid of this I Soul Day from you, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Miserable. So I am going to ban your I Soul Day. Makes sense. No, that, that one was not surviving. I hate that you left me with this one because I didn't want to be the <laughs> one to do it, but I guess I have to. This makes sense. This, I think, kills the entire deck and your Beatrices. I'm going to ban Dante. Oh, you Let's know, go. Fucker. Let's go. The How did it cells feel? <laughs> my, my king. <laughs> my king, he said. Yeah, yeah, I know that happens. I actually had a really hard time coming up with the Farfa ban. You have a lot of good cards, but you have like three of so many things. I don't even know how I feel about this one. Even though you haven't been playing these cards. Siberian like Rabbit is playing Super Magic the Gathering Arena. Kill them. Just makes Math Mac unplayable. Please Let's get Super Factorial out of here. I'm, I'm going to hit the Super Factorial. Oh, yeah. man. That's, that's rough. All right, Farfa. When you have five Link material... Uh, you can just summon this and win the game. So I'm going to remove your Boral End Dragon. Oh, did shit. I win the game? Gage, well, did I win? Omniscient's draft is on. Like a 2% win rate, but yeah, run it. So I can't do anything I've in this chat. <laughs> God willing, you would not be able to. I'll be damned the problem is that you again, can. So I'm just going to get ahead of it. I'm just going to get rid of it before <laughs> okay, it Okay, that's a lot of big bans there. What's All right, Farfa, what's your last ban? <laughs> okay, I'm going to ban Rex term. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. That's down. that's Fucking reasonable. Down. But wait, they the left video. Gage yeah, all sense. of the lab okay, shit. That's a lot of bands. Okay, so for my first wait, what limit, the fuck? I'm gonna hit Ray to one. Good luck. Good. You know, you love Ray. Good luck. Oh my Striker God, Ray. I love Sky Striker Ace Ray. Really is going to change my life. 
Damn, okay, you took my limit from him. That was oh, an shit. easy choice. Sure, I will limit your, your math mech sigma. All right. No yeah, right. I am matter. the beta, and I, I can't have anybody. <laughs> I don't know why he's saying <laughs> that. Keep saying that. Like... <laughs> <laughs> far fun, I the same thing. All right, Nadir, what's the next one? <laughs> okay, fuck it. I'll limit fair welcome. Yeah. I think yeah. That's uh, really okay. Good. I'm going to limit this such a weak limit. I'm going to do it. Woohoo! Uh -oh. Yeah, baby! Okay. Joseph made All people right. really mad last season Woo! when he it, but maybe they'll be nice here if I limit it. Right, May you. In that we're making May a very <laughs> what do I say? Person. Do I say? May you come down the path that none dare tread. As it, the Doug is like looking at the potential futures, the potentialities laid out in front of him, and in one column is polymerization on the ban list. And staring back from that path will be me. I'm very upset with playing this card too much. So I I, I said I would do a homie. I I, said, I would do a homie. I'm going to limit. Unexpected die. What? For, for you take so that back. That's you take no, that back bro. right now. I'm sorry. It's time, but we gotta stop playing week one cards. You guys accept just jelly cannon. You're just letting <laughs> Earth <laughs> Machine live <laughs> at full power. This is good. He's he's hitting everyone else's deck, which is great news because he doesn't really have one. I don't give a shit. Are you Earth Machine? Have you yeah, even won a game fair, with that thing? Fair. More like Birth Machine. Oh wait, yeah, I, I, the deer is one more. What the fuck? Did, what does that mean? Fan. Shit, what do you got? Yeah, it's gonna be Goliath. Oh, as that's my limiting limitation. Goliath. Yeah. Limiting Goliath. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That, I, I that does fuck good. up. The I don't know our yeah. No, that's well, that's, that's right. That's yeah, and we know. Okay, with that, we just have the wild card bands. Write down one more ban, and then we're gonna reveal them all at the same time. I'm ready. Me too. I I, I think I'm ready. I think I think I'm I'm ready about this. Yeah. All right. Three, two. What? Are you guys ready? This is about to be super controversial. Here we go. Here we go. One. Reveal. Oh, you can't even fucking read this. Oh. <laughs> I banned Lovely Labyrinth. What did you guys hit? I bond welcome. Oh, let's go. I didn't even write. I'm so stupid, bro. I didn't even write, but I had a. What? Did, what? Are you, what were you gonna ban, Gage? Uh, Gage, were you I'm trying so to like sorry. one, two, I'm three? I'm banning goals? App Cologne. That that was my. Okay. Choice. Okay. Oh, yeah, that... All right. You know what I hate to do is this is completely fine. Like Gage shouldn't be allowed to have Lab for the entire series. Like that. That deck is really good. I don't, <laughs> why were people mad about this? Like, I assumed the blind ban would hit Lab. I think the only bad outcome is if they both picked Lovely. That's, Fuck, that's they actually right. hit Shadal's, damn it. I almost banned so Why were they so mad okay. about this? That's completely <laughs> defensible. New format? Wait, okay. New what format? does he have left? Pretty, Welcome pretty to the wild. fucking ban list, you buddy. Guys, can we, the reason can we you ban cards is so they I, build I, I new totally decks. It, it looks so bad, and we need to do it for the theatrics. Nope, I think that was pretty theatrical really stupid myself. Edit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. know how this is going to end up. I, everybody has been predicting in the comments. I've seen it. They're going to be like, Gage is going to be screwed when the ban list comes around. And you know, yeah, yeah you're, you're right. right. <laughs> We're going to have to hope with 10 packs we can completely change our fate and sculpt together a couple of wins. Because uh, this latter part of the... <laughs> so close. <laughs> he needs a new fucking mic stand. Great start. Great start. We got a couple different SRs. This is a good look. I like it. All right. First pack. What you got for me? What you got for me? Zhoo. Nothing. That's all right. That's all right. Trying to find something nice to say about this one. <laughs> Crusadia Spatha. Whoa, that card moves other cards. Sick. Sure. Whole lot of fusion cards in that one. Still not a lot of uh, secret packs released. Okay, first you are. After post banless master saga, what are we unlocking? I'm hoping it's something good. I'm hoping it's a good pack. <gasps> Gladiator Beast, Heraclinos, OG Gladiator Beast. Unfortunately, I want to say this is this not good. What do we got? The brute that doesn't unlock a secret pack. I oh, wait, it does. I don't know what pack that unlocks. All right, in this one, oh, <gasps> Karakuri. In the hidden armory. A lot of options with those ones. I'm happy to just check out what we got <laughs> from there. Karakuri is also the punk. 
No, uh, what's that? Oh my god, I was gonna say, what sense does that make? Uh, this is exciting. What do we got? Let's start from the back. Hit it from the back. That's a that's a fucking awesome card. Like that's a great card. Yo, I'm so down for that. The, you guys think these bows play around do anything. Columns? The first time I activate this, it is going to change the way they play Saga for the rest of the series. All right, what's the what's the last you are? Oh my god. Wow, we unlocked the Nordics. No way. What's the yes to you? What's the last you are? Ooh. That's all right though. That's a good card. Infinite and permanence. We'll take it, bro. Pretty sure that's the second on the account since we got one from a bundle, I think. <laughs> we, we can play one of them, we know. All right, what do we got in this one? Flip it slowly now. Don't worry. Ancient Gear Golem to pair with the Ancient Gear Megaton Golem we got. Wow. Sorry I haven't said anything. There's just really nothing Gishti to say here. Necromere. This is that doesn't like open a pack. Gishti. Is it the new one? This didn't come with a secret pack? I'm a little disappointed in that. Well, all right. <laughs> I guess that's fine. Last pack of the Master Packs here. What do we got? In the close. I think we got a lot of options to look at, so I'm quite excited to see what it comes with. Does this unlock anything else? Oh, Bougin. shit. Torfin. Well, I, I mean, the Bujin pack sucks unless you have Torifune. Well, we got nine different um, packs to pick Maybe. From. Let's see which one ends up the best. You do. Welcome oh, back to whoa. another iteration of Master Saga. We are currently 0-4, and we're not trying to go 0-6. No more he, Wait, he's decks, literally 0-6. No what? For, uh, He's literally purposes. zero you're six. Serious farfa here. You're getting competitive farfa, right? We're winning this week two. Oh, we are oh six. Uh, apparently we are oh six. Sorry, we're not gonna go oh eight. That's <laughs> oh wow, it really is bad. All right, we got an ultra rare for a new pack that we're going into here. Uh, the Hercules base. Wow, I've got like ten of those. First monarch might be okay, and a planet pathfinder to search Numeron network if, if we, we pulled, pulled it. it. All right, big important ultra Grandpa rare. Grandpa Demento. Up here. He's actually Weird Al's muse. Oh, the Marine Cess pack. Okay, that mm. we know that's a good set. We know that that's a good, good pack. Set. Wait, this one doesn't unlock up. It doesn't unlock up. Oh my Never god! Mind. They didn't put <laughs> Argonaut the in the pack. It's the new one. Okay, whatever. Well, don't worry. We'll just randomly open the pack from one of these supers. We'll pull now. Actually, just epically trolled. Cat Sith, fabled, fabled Gal Ass. I know this card because of Masochus. EMR for machines and a hollow. Dragon Maid. Every single time we get tempted to go in here, man. It's just it's just too high rarity. That's the issue. Maybe I should buy like three structure decks and be like, oh, you said we had to spend our gems on bundles? Oh, I thought you meant structures. My bad. We got a Thunder Force attack here and... <laughs> kind of funny. Hand Maybe. Destruction. New ship. Get fucked. This feels so bad. Get <laughs> fucked. All right. And fortunately... I'm going to look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Maybe we should go back into the battle pack for the fourth time with a bandless, and hopefully we'll pull the uh, end gauge this time, right? Uh, all right, we've got Malefic, Divide, Crooked Crown, Canadia. That's a, just a very good card here, uh, but not much else in here. All right. Uh, or you already skip one day. Why would I skip a day? Kwaki Meru, Soul of Fire, Solidarity. Just That's straight an up just card. buffing. Ooh. And Ooh, Track Black is good too, here. especially What's early. Track Black. Uh, pack number six. Give me some, uh, I don't like how he going, said that. Please. Sea Koala Samurai. That's a very good. Okay, I'm putting this on one right? five. Saying, Ga -ga -ga Samurai. Uh, Super is gonna be Cyber White Hat. Does not open a pack. a pack. It's just a guy. Uh, <laughs> Put me in it because it's well. white. Okay, right now I have four of them. Oh, an Anoya Tellus. That's crazy. <laughs> Imagine if we pulled a Hedgehog. Huh? That'd be wild. Well, I don't see anything good here. These pulls are sad. Yeah, I've got three secrets. This is not very great. Dragon Circle's nice, but there's nothing really to play it in. Link Infra Flyer and Torn Scale. Pack number nine, though. We're packs, though. We're packs. This is actual despair. Mam Amazon is blow piper. Oh my god, I would love to blow. Atlantean Attack Squad. Ronin Raccoon Sendayu. And a fair welcome labyrinth. Nice. All right, boys. Looks like we're trying to pull Dragon Maiden Hyrule on that this week, because I don't know what to do. Uh, Ryo Okami. And Magic Drain is good. Spinny. Secret pack! Uh, the okay, Salad secret maybe, pack is really maybe, good. Maybe, we'll see. Let's double check the ballast, because unironically, I am legitimately thinking about going back into the bath mech pack again and trying to get Kagari and Engage. I am not joking. I am thinking about going in here for the fourth time to try to get Kagari and Engage. All right, 10 packs. That's uh, like so not correct. Now you want to see new format. Uh, we don't have a deck. Like, I could probably play Earth Machines, but I know people don't want to see that. I but, do! Uh, but we, we just unlocked Ethereum pack a second time. That maybe changes some things. We already have a Willy from last episode, and the Springians in the set are really good. Yeah. So, or two episodes ago, sorry. Hey, no one like Gawain could have actually used that. Gawain! That would have been really good with Unexpected Die. Which That's is, the Chin Man. Limited, by the way. Like, fuck Gage. Who, like, who played so Chin weird. Beat? Elbaz. Um, Suship. Want to play a little bit of Catch of the Day? The tide's coming in! Oh! Oh! I do have a UR craft. Yeah, I do have a UR craft. 
Nothing. Did I lose? No, I did win. I did win. And that does change things because we, to go into that pack, you really need to craft Regulus and the Field Spell. So having the opportunity to craft one of those is pretty good. Um, did we just pull that Fortune Fairy out of the previous pack? Okay, ready upgrade? You'll love to see it. Maybe just a hollow, though. Yeah, just a hollow. Yeah, it's a maybe. hollow. You know, some people don't realize it. The comment section usually does, but I notice that content creators don't always realize that if a pack is yellow, it just means there's like a glossy in it. Or an SR. Um, Needlebug Nest is funny. Like, imagine that. I was going to say imagine that in BA, but rest in peace, Dante. And it's Wings, Miracle Fertilizer. I wow, mean, you don't even have like, like three of them, too. That's to crazy. What does this last pack have in it? Oh, a couple. Oh, a lot of hollows. Okay, what do we got? Ice Barrier. Appliancer. Light and Darkness Dragon. Very cool. Um, I think the Appliancer pack has Battery Man in it, too. That yeah, the Appliancer pack is um, A few options today. Battery Let's uh, man. get to looking. Let's see. All right, I'll let my chat decide again, and we were between two... Don't do that. Don't let your fucking chat decide. Choices. We were either between the Bougian deck, which I'm a big fan of. I did play those Bougians back in the day, but something I've also played a lot of is the Punks, and it looks like the Punk pack is also hooked up with some pretty good stuff. Okay, well, between those two, that was probably the correct pack. Rough start, you know, one UR, one SR. You love to see more, especially when we're in a high roll pack like that. But they can get upgraded. They can get upgraded. So we'll see. We'll see. Whoa, is that the Nishiwari surprise? Genuinely not even a bad card. If we can pull punks to play with it, um, it is actually just a pop a face up card. All right, couple more Karakuri cards here. Gabu's also great. That's like an effect veiler. Kind of like an infinite impermanence, some would say. Gabu's good just on. anyway. Wang on. Crash beat was the, the spell we just pulled in the last thing. Giant yeah, ball game's interesting, oh, too. Interesting. Wagon's good. Yeah, Wagon's awesome. Let's hope we can search something good. Let's hope we get the field spell. In these SRs? Okay. Good, good opportunity. What do we got? What do we got? This one's in the pack, so this one's going to be Quick. big. Let's get the one outside of the pack. What was it? Barraging Bast. And oh, Ogre Dance, Dance Big. Able to search Ogre out Dance Big. Oh, oh, wow. Cool Synchro. Level 8. Okay, Those we got stuff to do. We got stuff to do. We can make this work. Uh, Shirakusai. Wagon. What do you mean nothing in there? Shirakusai yeah. Wagon. Unfortunately, all those cards are ultra rare. Oh. All right, another SR. Let's hope this one is in the pack. That's where we want to see it. It is. All right, cool. Let's what see what we, we got. Want? Nothing good. In the back? Ziamen? Oh, I mean. That's a good card. Open three secret three packs. Three secrets. is a part of everything, apparently. All right, you are, again, crossing the fingers that it's inside the pack because this could be a game changer if it is. Oh, ah. Not. It could be anything. <laughs> and that's not what I want to see. Let's start from the back. Let's rip off the Band-Aid. Nothing good. Even Illusion Magician. What do we got? Oh, the virtual oh, dragon. We'll play long, it. long, long. Well, long, like, long's so long playable. Our win record, bro. Yikes. All right. Well, we're in the last so thanks. Uh, uh, not good, no. Redeem this entire opening. Uh, this was a waste. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, I guess yeah. we should have gone into the other one. Oh! oh man. Thought Roller Archfiend! Wow, Edison All-Star coming back. To bless my extra deck. I can't Yikes. believe it. Yikes. <laughs> I would have loved Psychic and Punisher, the upgraded <laughs> version of this guy. That would have been a little bit more difficult to out. Thought Roller Archfiend? Maybe we can make him. Well, I, I don't know how we're going to win this week. we got to come out with something. All right. Well, uh, we, oh, you, we probably play like some kind of Karakuri control deck. <laughs> Welcome back. You'll never believe what pack we're going into. For the fourth time this... Um, oh, th the salad pack is so good. Oh my God. Oh, why? Season. We are going to try and roll it back with an engage. Or a He's Kigari. just doing Kigari this idea, to get one card. Send things Kagari recruits them. But the really important thing is, yes, we did lose two copies of Ray. She is now limited. The difference is we get two crafts this week, meaning we can use our crafts on area space zero. The problem is if we do pull two area space zero, our N and R crafts are basically useless. So um, yeah, <laughs> hopefully we don't pull the area zero and we get high rolled on engage and Kagari. For the fourth time this season, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for 10 packs of Sky Striker. Striker. Craft two more Ray to try to get a glossy. Oh yeah, that's worth it. All right, here we go. None of those are useful. Dead pack. Okay, so so far zero cards useful. Fluffle bear. Nothing we need. Come on, baby. Nothing here? Nothing. Still nothing. Okay, cool. Come on, Kagari. Show your face. Show me Show me the Kagari. Show me the Engage. Okay, we got a hollow in here. We got a hollow in here. Is it going to be an ultra? Unlucky. Uh, one last. Okay, that would have been nice as a Widow Anchor. That's like my fifth Shizuku. What oh, do you expect? Pack, man, wasted pack, dude. I expect a tornado. Die on her. Oh, great. Well. We pulled the airspace zero when we were planning on crafting two anyway. Maybe there's a world where we can still run back like nerf math mech? Probably not. Nothing good here. No, not a widow anchor. Really? Come I appreciate on, dude. that two the game is doing this to him. Yeah, okay, dude. Wow, arm! Fire lake! I have two of these? Nothing. Actually, just nothing. Nothing in here. Oh no. What have we done? What have we done? Come on, engage! No! At least a widow anchor. Okay! All right, you know what? That's that's not that's, that's, that's still pretty bad. That's still pretty bad. But we basically pulled nothing this week. Oh, magic rain. That's a good card. Uh, all right. So now here's the thing. The next time we come into this pack, 
we got to stop him. I don't know how we're going to do it. We have to stop him. We have to put a stop to this nonsense. We have to put a stop to this ass a tree. We get an ultra rare. So that's really good. All right. It's Therion. I looked at the appliances. It does have battery man. Okay. But, uh, this could go very uh, well for us, actually. Man, so. Hold up. We have a very... Okay. We so we lost a couple of pieces of the Earth Machine deck, but we still have a very workable uh, pool of monsters, I think. Uh, yeah, and the spring gans are really good. Wow. Of course, you know. Uh, <laughs> Captain Sargass is very strong. This is a deck that I think both uh, Arpa get fucked. and MBT have played in previous seasons. I don't really understand how it works, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Uh, so spring so gans is... Oh, my God. Holy fuck. This, this pack has Golgonda in it? It has Decisive Battle? Oh, my God. Wait, we literally can't lose. Hello. Therion Cross? I don't even know what this is. Oh, oh, shit. That's pretty good. Not bad at all. We really want to try to high roll, though, with these, like, rarity upgrades, maybe. Fuck me. Um, Therion, Bull, That's good. Therion, Bulline, Duke, Duke Yule, Reaper, Reaper Foom. That's what we want to play set of. Bull, uh, Reaper, and Duke. You know, if we can Duke. make a deck that just has a couple different types in it, the Therions are good cards, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, they're crazy. Another Duke. Branded in white. Uh, yeah. Not the UR you see. Perhaps yeah. the worst UR in the pack, actually. Irregular. It's so good. I don't think so. No, it's not. Another Decisive. Regular. Another Foom. Um, another Therion Cross. We're really not pulling any Spring Dance at all. In limited yes, we are. Oh, we were pulling all of them. There's Sprint. We need our Sprint. Yeah, I don't think a Spring Gans deck is actually coming together here. So, we'll see. Oh, my. At least the uh, Lily can add that trap. Okay, what do we got? Runic Fangs. Merry Maker. Merry okay, Maker's Merrymaker. huge. Yo! <laughs> Sigma. Fark was not the only Sigma in the game now. Okay, okay. Last two packs here. Book of Taiyu. We have, like, every book card. That's got Duke. Three. Oh, Kid is huge. Not Booty's bad. huge. Final pack. What can we got? get uh, Gold Golgonda? Crazy. Oh, two Hollows from the pack. That's very, very good. What do we have? Magical Cylinders. Oh my god, a playset of Therion Cross, another Borea. That was me, another Royal Borea. Um, yeah, I don't know what this deck's gonna look like. The problem with the Therions is like getting them into the graveyard if you're playing pure. And we don't really have the cards to do that. So we're gonna have to take a look. I feel like this card's really strong though, so I kinda wanna try to build it. Let's get the deck. We'll see. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I am somehow in a complete state of disarray. I've had to rework it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like. Would you believe me if I told you uh, this is his best deck so far? <laughs> Entire new list from the ground up. All of our original strategies have gotten absolutely demolished by the ban list. Uh, I think Switcheroo is gun, probably not uh, good. Band, all of my Labyrinth cards. And, and what's worse is Rextrum is even gone too. So if I had any shot of even playing the Dynamorphia pack, that's gone too. Never mind the fact that I'm not even winning. I'm not even in first place. But uh, we've got some major work to do if we want to start getting some wins. This is the list in front of me today. I'll be honest, if we get a win, I'll be shocked. Uh, it's Salomon Great with none of the Salomon Great aspects to it. One of the main aspects of Salomon Great is resummoning the Link Monsters with the Field Spell. I don't have any Field Spell. On top of that, I don't have any balance to search the Field Spell. I don't even have any Sunlight Wolf to be able to get any value off the Field Spell. This is like... <laughs> I'm starting to see the problem. Bare Bones Salomon Great deck. Diet Salomon Great is going to focus on just getting Link material onto the board or in rotation uh, and reutilizing powerful cards like Will of the Salomon Great, which ends up being a Soul Charge later in the game, just to make powerful rank fours. That's all I have. Uh, the most powerful rank four I have is Unchained Abomination, which during the end phase uh, can target one card on the field and destroy it. And, you know, maybe the fact that we can make like Update Jammer or something like that go into that, attack twice, could be like an OTK line. I don't even know what to say. We're still playing literally weak one cards in our deck. We had to revert to playing Memory of an Adversary just to give us, you know, better cards in our deck. So, uh, I mean, what we're going to do is we're going to try our best and we're going to smile all the way through. So, so we can get a win or two, right? YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Trying to Play Sky Striker again. So the idea. <laughs> Gage's deck looks better than this. Is that even though we lost Ray, you only really need one to keep that floating, uh, you know, loop going. And so it's really not that big of a deal because now we have multiple ways to still access Ray. You got three field spell with multiple ways to destroy it with MST, with the afterburner and the jamming wave uh, bonus effects or vice versa, plus the multi roll and the MST and the Olenoids. Uh So many ways to access this as well as uh, with Pathfinder. So the idea is that yes, while the deck might not have lost uh, gained any power, it's a uh, basic uh, change things up. I was doing a couple of practice games there and I was noticing just how much uh, you miss Kagari. So anyway, the deck is pretty strong. I think we got one Zeke, which is like very important, and I think that's really the most important thing altogether. So yeah, that's the deck list. Let's jump into the game and see if we can uh, one for one and out resource and out grind these bozos. See in the dough. All right, as expected, we are back with Earth Machine. Okay, so Doug's deck is unbeatable. Once again, so they did limit Goliath, but the rest of his deck is completely unlimited, which is great. But I will say by. Oh, man. This is like the cleanest 2 0 of all time. It's just going to depend on his ability to play it. Like, it, it's crazy looking at <laughs> Gage's deck playing Memory of an Adversary, and then you look at Doug's deck, and it's like. Yeah, there's no bad cards in this. Like, every single card in this is good. <laughs> I guess maybe, like, 
the waking the dragon isn't fantastic. Limiting Goliath, we basically don't have a turn one draw two combo anymore. It was already kind of awkward playing with only two copies versus three copies like actual Earth Machine players do, but uh, with one copy, that turn one combo is basically dead. Luckily though, our craft today is going to be Regulus. Railcar, so instead of Ruffian, Railcar is insane. Combo to just it's so draw two good. Cards, our plan now is basically to go River Stormer into Regulus Pass, which might not sound that crazy, but you will no, have it is. follow up and hopefully you'll have some of these trap cards as well. We are playing three copies of Ethereum Cross. I think this card could be pretty good if they try to like bait out the Regulus negates. I didn't even know this card existed, so maybe they won't either, but uh, hopefully this won't brick too much it can you know we are not guaranteed to full combo on turn one but uh, i'm gonna try my best so let's get to duels and see how it goes okay before i do this i'm gonna get uh, a snack <laughs> oh no, did you uh, forget to turn off a uh, room list? For, like, what are they gonna do? Find it? No. Yeah, and then duel us. We going first? Alright, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna literally need just a second here because. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, he's yeah, got combos. This, this is a first <laughs> deck in 10 weeks. I don't weeks, know if it's so... that, bro. <laughs> My deck doesn't do too much. Can you right, stop being mean to me, me, Rebecca? You don't remember? You sat there. Come and you on! You're like, alright, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. You set one and passed. Well, yeah, and then well, I ended up winning that game, didn't I? So it, it starts trust slow. The process. <laughs> <laughs> trust the process. Okay. 
after today you'll be zero eight. All oh, right, sure, yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. I yeah, I, I think that he will be winning this one. Division. I'm eating yogurt <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> Ooh, that Isn't that like fucking crazy? Still How Destiny weird is that? That's kind of quirked up, isn't it? Yogurt for dinner. This deck fucking blows, bro. What are you? Not 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 like expected anything different. This has got like nothing going for it. Just like forty one ofs again. Hi, Sadie. Everyone say hi to Jillian. She's been having a rough couple days. I have, and now I'm making Joseph have a rough day. I'm sorry. Uh, Jillian, Jillian took the lead on a home maintenance thing, and she told me a price, and I went, that's so much money. And she was like, I'm sorry, I've ruined everything. You haven't ruined everything. I'm sorry. But she thinks that she has. I think I have ruined everything. You I'm haven't. Sorry. No, you haven't. It'll be good to have it done. Okay. It'll be good to have it done. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, chat, my head's been hurting. Uh, Jillian's, Jillian's had a migraine. I realized it's actually been 48 hours of migraines because remember I was, like, really tired on Monday? Yeah. And usually, like, fatigue is, like, one of my big warning signs that the migraine's gonna happen. Yeah. So, chat, I'm pretending though, like, instead of me being like, I have to manage my pain by resting, I have decided that I am in hostage negotiations with my body for control of my brain. And this has, like, made my pain management a lot more entertaining for me because, like, <laughs> it's really hard for me to understand. Like, I had to, like, take the whole day off, right? Like, that's hard for me to understand. But I can understand that my adversary wants, you know, to control the brain. Jillian, this is the strength of a good bit. All right. So now time to watch TV. Oh, man. I, oh, I don't even know, bro. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to waste your guys' time. All right. I'm going to... Uh, I feel like you've got like a weird hero line or something. I'm gonna set a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> Four minutes of like, huh, I don't know to set a card. <laughs> I'm going to pass my turn. Okay. Bro. It two? is that. It is literally listen. set a monster pass again. Classic. Yep. Listen, listen to me, YouTube. This guy did exactly what we talked about last time. That, that this was like ten minutes. We in actually win. He I, I hate to be like no, this. No, it was. It was like five seconds. I talked all this shit uh, on Farfa, but he's about to win. It was like five minutes. Ah, yeah. It was like okay. two minutes. All right. I want to pressure you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna set one card. <laughs> Normal summon me monster pressure. would be pressure. Oh. Uh, let's activate. Sky Striker Airspace Area they, Zero. Really? Even they, though I limited, limited ray. Ban right. Okay. Limited, you limited ray. ray. All right, yeah, the this only is hit. A real thing, then. This is a very real thing, still. Ooh, nice. Oh my god, he found a wanker. Is that linkage? Free. Uh, no, oh, that's so scissor cross. cross. Doug. <laughs> it's definitely linkage. No, it's not linkage. Monsters target one. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, scissors. Yeah, cross? we just win. So, guess which pack I went into this week, guys. Did you re-unlock you the paleo the striker pack? again? Oh, For the man. fourth time. The well, you just gotta find time. the one. You I should have banned Ray. I just should have banned it. Yep. <laughs> you should have just banned it. Correct. <laughs> it's playable with uh with just. There's Rose no way that it could have been correct to go into it a fourth time. What did you not have? I mean, like uh, well, a I, bunch of stuff he still doesn't have. My secret packs this week were, were were pretty terrible. Okay. Like I good. will admit that they were they were pretty bad. Mm, okay. Why would we I do that? Let's summon the girls. Um, Let's go, wow. girls. Do, do, we'll do, 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 do. Maybe we should have Zeke this. I don't know. Oh, I was almost going to go in that pack, Gage. Sound Deep like draw salads, uh, yeah. man. He should have. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, I'm kind of getting cooked already, bro. This is miserable. <laughs> we, go, we go Hayate. <laughs> yeah. this is wow. Miserable. We're going to go crazy. Well, okay. Maybe right. you... We literally can't win well, from this position. Ultra rare craft. So you don't wow. Like a free way to engage this. Room, Holy. Maybe you just. <laughs> I love that it just oh, shows a boneless everything. toss format. Yeah, yeah. We got Salmon Great Fennec versus Kagari list engage list. Uh, yeah, the, the, I had the craziest Salmon Great turn one play you've ever seen, right? Played it yeah. by the book. I know. <laughs> hey, you didn't get the beer root, you know? Yeah. So you must be doing something right. Uh huh. What? Two monsters? Zeke. Zeke? Oh, Zeke. okay. Clearing the extra deck monster zone. Got a Zeke. Yeah, not bad. Just go yeah. Shizuku, That's set three, resolve. I only have one Zeke, so I don't want to waste it. 
So I haven't activated any strikers. You just did. You made it. You, you just mean? made it. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's been this wasted. Was no, but no, no, but like, as in, use it into a. Uh, oh, a use. Shizuku. Yeah, yeah. No, don't keep it on your fucking field. Make Shizuku, asshole. Mm -hmm. What does this even do? Um. Make Shizuku. I, what? It's just a monster actually... right now. It's just a guy. Yeah, it is just a guy. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> I, guess I wonder we'll if he does the shuffle here. Important. Yeah, um, yeah. I will set three cards. No, because he's only ever getting the one oh, why anyway. Why is Duster banned? Thrilling. Why is Duster banned? Oh, God. Huh. I wonder you what we get. Gage? Probably, probably <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not wanker. I'm like huffing and puffing over here. I wouldn't say bad, but... I bet Helio <laughs> is enough to push through this, just like back in the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Helio, my man. If only. <laughs> <laughs> if only. Shark we cannon. couldn't buy yeah, starter decks, right? Oh my god, he's oh, doing the shuffle. Even getting the extra wow, he's right. doing the Why shuffle. We, he wants to set the field that, spell. Man. For the multi Just rub and salt in the wound. <laughs> I have my ego booster I really want to set here. <sighs> like, what else could I Oh, have? never mind. No, he only had one cards. activation. You just had too many good cards, Farfa. Just, oh, just he just sequenced cards. wrong, right? He was supposed to activate throw, multi roll, throw, then activate the field the spell. I should have um, left App Cologne and then. I don't know. That might have been Gage. Am I wrong? I might be. Well, now I know you have Shark Cannon. Yeah. Whatever else I was doing doesn't do shit now, bro. I'm... I feel so bad for Gage. Like, oh, what no. the, the fuck? Age of Gage. It better not be over. Use the field spell okay. to get Ray. So, yeah, see, you I would go okay? like, multi-roll, activate the field spell. The then you would go multi-roll right? effect, yeah. sending the field I was spell. Drawn. Oh, you, said, you said booster. All right, well, I mean, I said dude, I ain't got any other choice. For once, booster. you're right. Oh, okay. so <laughs> You got to try. Those could all just be bluffs face down. Who knows? ZT yeah, Ghosty, they, they I mean, fixed it pretty early on. I want even a chance. <laughs> I'm going to normal. It had to do with stacking effects in the end phase. Coyote. A coyote. Usage no. rate, by the way, mm -hmm. 0 0.001%. Just to keep I it. love those 0 0.001s. <laughs> I am going to activate my Salomon Great Spinny from okay. my hand. Okay. Okay. Boost up that coyote just a little bit, bro. Not bad. A couple extra points. Sure. Wow, I did not expect to make it that far. Spinny effect. <laughs> well, I have another shark cannon. I dare you, bro. No, that's good. Oh, oh my god. I cannot <laughs> you got to overlay? Oh, did you pull Stalio? I did. I don't even think I make him, bro. I don't even think I make him. <laughs> oh, it's only an SR. Not bad. Okay, cool. This has to be the right. This has to be the only He's going to make bro. World Just Dragon Long Long. A Widow Anchor. Yeah, I know. This okay. And this beats Widow Anchor. I'm going to exceed with these two cards. I'm going to make. Virtual World Dragon, long, 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 bro. Oh, long, huge. long, man. Okay. Is this untargetable? Okay. Yeah, this yeah. Zeus is gonna what go it hard do? too. Uh, that's pretty much <laughs> where I stopped reading. I was <laughs> no, if you activate it, monster effect with an attribute not on your field, um, like something in the graveyard or whatever. Oh, hand or grave uh, effects. I can detach to negate it. Okay. Yeah. Wait, um, can I mean, right we negate the activation of the ray here? Grave, but no. Listen, <laughs> no, listen, just, I, you don't think it's I know light that? Wind like... No, you're good. No, actually, crazy card. Honestly, this does is this insane. I don't know how I got <laughs> shit. Okay, it's so this, stop okay. Stop your, this stops your ray loop if I attack and then use its effect. Oh, and then it gets widow anchored, so that's fun. It can't be targeted, well, can't in the damage step, remember? It can't be targeted. And it can't be targeted. Yeah, that's like wrong for two reasons. <laughs> oh, it can't be targeted about Oh, but they have to control a face-up monster. Tricky, yeah. But he will not be able to Widow Anchor in the damage step. That is true. Oh, okay. That's right. So I can't get over this thing then. Yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely probably worth it, right? Unless you have, like, Hornet drones or something. Yeah, oh, Amy dude, wait, Catass. Is, I just got I there. Scissor Cross in your deck. I've literally never seen someone play that card. It's Doesn't a, that, like, add one from Grave? Yeah, add from Grave. You, do, you don't know what scissoring is? <laughs> no, I can't say I've learned. Bro, there's, like, a... Back in middle school, we... What is he about to say? <laughs> What what story is Gage about to tell? Got a band trip, and there was where is one time at band camp. Is going. I, I, it's just a funny story. What? You don't want to laugh. Gage no, at fine, band camp. No, 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 no. I no please don't. Okay, yeah, like Gage. What happened? We got that we got this. Band camp. We got this consent form to go on like a field trip. Yeah. And on the and the consent form, it was talking about things that you weren't allowed to do. Uh, and one of those things was referred to as necking. Me being a <laughs> middle schooler, I did not know what necking meant, bro. So I what raised my hand politely. I said, excuse me, you asked? Mr. Rush. Excuse me. Uh, yes, I asked what necking was, bro. Question. I had to know. <laughs> I had to say, question, what is necking? All right. Um, you know, I think I did something similar at one point. I think olds don't understand that we don't use the term necking anymore. Okay, I guess I'm going battle phase here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wait, so what is that king? Is it just kissing? <laughs> he's, he's, he, Farva doesn't even know. Sing? Yeah, making it's like, out a little. Uh, leaving a just make it out. Okay, yeah. right. You know, yeah, I see. Back. Leaving your you mark. Know, canoodling. I was canoodling. familiar with the term canoodling back then. I thought canoodling uh, was fucking. I don't even know if I attack this. I'm so sorry I'm thinking about this so much. This game is, this is, every episode is a gas leak episode. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, chat, you're thinking of getting neck, which is, that is sucking dick. Conversation. Can we yeah, just end the episode and just have a podcast? <laughs> I don't even think I attack this, man. Oh, you're thinking about just leaving it? Uh, yeah. Go on, Gage. You want to so canoodle with my Shizuku? I'm just going to go for it. Fuck it. We'll yeah, kill yeah. it. Um... Amazing. There we go. Ray. And then, okay, does this say not during damage step either? No one has figured it out yet. Did I read this card wrong? Negate the activate. Uh, I don't while they control a face up monster, I did stop reading after the first line. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> that is fair. Oh, right. while they. Uh, <laughs> I never uh, saw that. Dude, I guess I'll I'm activate. Just uh, dude, <laughs> this is this might go hard. I'll activate the Swords of Concealing Light. Oh, oh my man! Wait, wait you will change right? your ray effect, and it will do nothing. Oh, wait, yes, it will. What do you mean? You still won't have a mon. Change all monsters your opponent controls to face down defense position. Gage, do you think link monsters can go face down? <laughs> I added oh, linkage. You did add linkage. Okay, but how do you out <laughs> this guy? Twenty one hundred. Wait, that was a big ass cut. <laughs> can't be done. Doesn't linkage Function, literally right? give attack? Yeah, it does. Huh? <laughs> 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 If only we oh, had uh, Kagari, though. Okay. Oh, you can just summon another Shizuku. That's great. I didn't know you could summon Shizuku into Shizuku summon here. Oh. No balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be Hayate, though, right? <laughs> It'll be 25, so, I mean, it's it's whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's just go into Hayate. I'll uh, I'll try and make this quick. I'll go and attack directly instead. Oh, <laughs> okay. So oh, we can set the linkage again and just <laughs> kill him. Do you a, do you a solid here, like, dude? That's just literally like, what the fuck are you gonna do with that bows? <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I meant, Man. dude. <laughs> well, now you have to out a monster with a hundred more attack. You know, kind of attack. Oh, I, I literally no. can't do Is that. that Is that I feel so bad uh, for Gage. It is uh, yeah, permanent. permanent. Wow. Imagine leaving up the. What is that? He's gonna leave up the Vector blast. I'm, you are just. I'm playing... just. I just wanted. Whatever. I'm just playing Vector cards. Ass. Out here. Listen, ass. I'm missing two copies of Engage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, you actually. Wait, why are... does multi roll work just now? Because you, you can set in the field linkage. spell zone. So you can. Have but like, I don't the... have anything. You can to set, set the field spell. Set the field spell. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh. Coaching guys, appreciate it. <laughs> Got you, bro. Any any time. Oh, I mean it. <laughs> okay, no. what are we drawing? I'm we can get out of this. We can get out of this. We just gotta want it. Well, no. Oh. I was worried. Oh wait, that card beat Doug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there right, well. I'm just saying, Gage. Can you can you beat um, no. Eagle no. Booster Hayate? <laughs> no. Punching next turn. No. Okay. I can't. No. No. no I literally okay. can't. One ban um, list later, Farfa has become <laughs> Labyrinth. You know that this is where we're at. <laughs> no. No. Uh, all right. No. Man, I kind of want to see what that set card is. No, come on. Just, just finish me off, bro. Please, can just, can uh, just kill me. Finish bro, it's information. You know? can attack it's directly. information. You you're not playing plans, against him again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any other ideas? One oh, in six, God. baby. <laughs> All right. Well, well, I would say good, good game, game, but I don't think it was. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the curse is lifted. Wait, someone did uh, do the... Okay, there's six men... No, Gage, we're playing. But there's six members in here, and I think they did do the thing. I'm at table two. <laughs> They all named themselves DZ Saga S5. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, that's oh, no, Jesse Kelly. Jesse Cotton. <laughs> Wait, who's at table three? Oh, the ghosts of you and me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> They're playing a game. Do you want to spectate them? What are yeah, yeah. Let me, let me check. <laughs> let me, no, let me check yeah, in right now. On. I want to see what's oh, going okay. on. All right. what's going Every on? episode is ghastly. If right imagine if they're playing our decks. That would be hilarious. <laughs> just Please, they're just having that, a proxy uh, war. That'd be funny. We need to make sure that Crush Cards gets this bit in. Whoa! Weather Painter versus uh, <laughs> Mecha <Mecha> Phantom <laughs> Beast. <laughs> Okay, this has to be someone from my uh, from the LCS. Oh, you think? Pure Mecha Phantom Beasts. Master 4 Mecha Phantom Beast player. Holy crap. I, I that DC Krupp in top 500, Master right? This pretty much is what player. we just watched, actually.
All right, this seems to really get me something hot. Ooh. All right, to activate Brady Ooh. Cell. Ooh. Let's Ooh. discard Trench. What do you mean, get you okay, some? Holy you're back the machines. All right. Yeah, All right. That's yeah, the yeah, literal best draw on the deck. This was a mistake to let you keep this at full. No, power. I will tell you, though, and I'm a little we surprised at this. The uh, the hitting right of uh, the Goliath to one actually does cripple the entire turn one combo. So, um, good. You know, oh, good. okay. Well, you got that's okay. I mean, we don't. We're still fine. This probably gets there. Okay, let's just go normal. Activate. So what you're saying is banning Dante was a mistake. No, no, that definitely needed to happen. I just engaged. Maybe should have limited Dozer instead of limiting unexpected die. Wait, but... I was looking at the ban list earlier, and I was like, who the hell limited die? Yeah, it was me, you, Gage. Uh, yeah, let's, let's summon hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, and now that we have this, we can go. So I actually did draw like a fair amount of extenders this time, which is yeah. pretty nice. Um, so we'll yeah, go... this is terrifying. Overlay. No, I think this is like the best possible hand that I could draw. <laughs> well, once I drew into a good card, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need um, a Let's activate River Stormer. Detach I and looked away and Doug just pendulum summoned. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm going to add a new card from this week. I'm going to add Therion King Regulus. <laughs> Starring the king, oh, the oh, king! God, damn. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, oh. I guess I lose. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the end of the game. <laughs> Buckle up for <laughs> five weeks of this crap. You, Holy are you crap, kidding me? Maybe you're after... <laughs> Get ready for five weeks. This crap has gone into the Sky Striker pack five times now. What That's we what just God. watched, oh, you are saying that? You are fucking kidding me, dude. <laughs> I don't have egg gauge or Kagari. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> just stop. <laughs> Looks like one in seven, boys. <laughs> All right, oh here's the first one. God. No, no, no. This, this is, like, I think the best possible thing that we can draw, so it doesn't matter. I think this I'm ending insane. up with a, a, one extra monster here. Oh, we just randomly Wait, have. did you even get this Regulus? Was yeah, it just I random? See. No, this is a Therion pack. Does it have all of the Earth Machine stuff Oh, we get to well? even protect oh, our no. little guy. It's, it's, uh, th no, my pulls were awful. It's Therion. This is my favorite just chatting stream. Um, you people are so fucking Could have been that Spring Dog, there's it's a, there's a Therion right. King, King Regulus in your hand. That was my craft. I mean, that was, that was my craft, so... Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you know, Farv has a 0% win rate against this deck. Uh, this has a, okay, I think, 100% win rate in Saga. Craft the loser, like the good craft. No, because then it's like there's incentive to lose. <laughs> well, not really. It just like Farfa, the gap, Farfa after I going 0 and 6. Shouldn't the crafts go to the loser? <laughs> <laughs> Doug is on engaged. one. Like, Doug is right, Doug's going off today. Yeah, man, it would have been nice. Card. It would have been nice. Doug's um, fucking around. But that was oh, like we the rich can... get richer. Yeah, there has to be a reward so... for winning. Like we tr we've tried it with the better prize for losing, and it just it just doesn't make sense. Like there's no okay. anyway. Um, this is what I have, I guess. It's not too much. I think I could. Uh, I think I actually could have drawn five here, but I'm choosing to do this instead. So. Did you guys I mean, know we... that Doug invented capitalism? <laughs> this is about the best hand we could Fun hope fact. for in right. Gage's Master dog Sox, shit ass deck. Act. Yeah, <laughs> draw for I actually so think that the uh, the third place reward is pretty good. Some weeks I really want that double craft. So, I don't know. I agree. Yeah, they're all pretty well balanced in the end, to be fair. Sometimes an ultra is like a key card. It's actually really crazy watching the difference in quality of the cameras. Farfa's got like the streamer camera like I do. And Doug has like a slightly better streamer camera. And then Gage is in like ultra upscaled 12k hd yeah but like nrs is like usually like consistency which is nice yeah because you can miss out i mean that's what happened with the the spring yans i couldn't play those because i missed out on a couple low i mean it just happens with spring yans right i think the field spell gold gondola is like the hardest card to pull in master duel i think that they just looked that you're getting spring yans and like fuck you pulling that. okay i've got <laughs> Like something silly. It isn't gonna work, Doug. You are you seeing the same board I'm looking at, bro? Like, this is <laughs> one interruption. I, I, yeah, it's more than enough. Uh, I'm going to normal summon. Yeah. Ooh, let me just make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Salomon Great Fennec. Yeah. My man. Fennec's a good card. The boy. I'm gonna activate Mirror Effect. Oh my god, a discarded special. Yeah, yeah. It does. I'm going to discard Mirror. Spinny for my hand. Oh, okay. You got plays. Um, yeah. Kind of pop it off. I know. Special. I'm actually a little scared right now. On All the right, plus uh, side. What? Say anything right now? What do you have? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, on the plus side, I just realized the Therion doesn't send any machine. It has to send itself. It so does have to get rid of that, itself. Then, uh, yeah. Yeah. Then he's gone for goods. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to do this. Uh, I'm going to go 
Link to. How cool is the name Brute Enforcer? That's so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna make new card that I pulled. Like oh, for a hacker Forster. style guy. Oh, I love that card. That's such yeah, a this cool. Is a good one. Card. I love this card. It's so nice. Pretty good. And yeah. then you get to add any normal spell. Not how shit is his effect? It's okay. <laughs> Fury okay. of Fire. Oh. Fury of Fire is damn good. Like double reborn, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like Shadow Fusion, right? Uh. Okay. That no, might... that's the other one. Oh. Up to two from your grave. Yeah, no, no, no. It's it's just a double reborn that then restricts you. Discard one card. Opponent can discard one. Oh. We we're supposed okay. to Fury first, so we can discard the. Um... Oh wait, this is bad because he fine. has some. Oh. Wait, why did you discard the monster? Discard. Right? To because he has to discard, discard the same one type, one. right? Yeah. Okay, so if I press cancel, then it gives me the option? Yeah, I see. Okay. Negated. Yeah, it's kind of rough. <laughs> oh, yeah, no unfortunately, spin. I don't think I could beat the one there. Um, I was going to say you lost to Br the, the Therian negate here, otherwise you'd have a chance, but Bruton Forcer kind of negates himself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, if I could like, somehow force this out, I think we'd be fine. Unfortunately, we're going to be struggling here. Uh, I'm going to activate the Fury of Fire. Wow. I think that is the Good. one. That's the one that I'm negating. Wow. Very impressive play, Mr. DZ. How but... observant of you. <laughs> what else do you got? Let's see. You can only act what else one. do I got? You know, if you had a Fury of Fire, that could actually work. I don't think I have anything then. I think I'm just going to have to go battle phase. Yeah, there's just no way. What does this one do again? Reborns it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it has to summon in defense? And it triggers oh. the field spell. Yeah, no, guys, if I would have made anything except Brute Enforcer, I would not have Serb? gotten the Fury of Fire, and then I would be out of place. So, no, I was losing this game no matter what. Um, you could have gone, like, spinny, try to make Stalio, and then use the Stalio for a Link Summon, try to bounce, and then Fury of Fire, maybe? I don't know if it would actually get Ooh. through all this stuff, but... No way this was better than Punk. Yeah, why'd you not do that, Gage? <laughs> do no, what? I'm just, do I'm, what? Just, <laughs> I'm just all the things talking. you just said. I'm just I'm trying talking. to think of the other lines. Why do you even I'm destroy that at? monster? Oh, like, uh, why? Uh, why even yeah, do yeah, that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, I, I think close, the Age of Gage post ban list. Uh, you know, you got well, you got another episode where you can probably get some stuff. I bet. Um, I'm gonna need it, bro. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna hopefully need a miracle let's just next Just activate here. some cards here. You're at eight thousand. I can probably get there. I just need to get there. You know. Um, we got these. Let's activate this. Maybe we should have done this first. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's add time for Earth Machine um, combos. So I can do this. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm. He's I'm like going. so I'm mad. Um, there is ah. a surrender button. Just saying. <laughs> Sky good. Striker player mad that someone is doing combos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just save you the time, bro. <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't do anything, bro. Like, I'm literally not winning. Failed to join table. Wait, that's not me. That's not me. That's someone else. Wait, that's that's <laughs> not you. That's no, the kick imposter. Him out. Kick him out. It's the imposter. <laughs> All right, I'm at table two. Okay, I'm at table two as well. <laughs> Why did I even suggest that? Why? Almost got <laughs> that's him. That's so funny. <laughs> Sure. Field spell. Oh, wait, scary. this oh, hand blows. Ninety percent striker cards. Ooh. Uh, shark cannon's pretty good against you, I guess. Yeah. This hand is a uh, terrible. Um, what do you send? Eagle booster. The eagle okay. booster. Oh wait, hang on. Maybe I should have done this. I guess I was just trying to gamble on any one of the other. Yeah, like, no, this is still <laughs> correct. There's, like, 10 good hits here. Yeah, 10 good hits um, in a 35-card deck. Not too bad. Oh. Yeah, no, I think this was fine. Um, no, we were definitely go supposed go to jamming wave set, set right? Here. Okay. Um, we win. Sure. Let's go um, small world. Do you know your bridges, Doug? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty easy. Jizikuru. It's just, yeah, it's just Jizikuru. Yeah, I Harvester. think Harvester Brutal Dozer might just, uh, might might, might be around. good enough. <laughs> no, I get. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's it's not as good as the last hand. I'll yeah, be honest. Yeah, I'm just gonna negate this. I, I just <gasps> I don't want to know like if uh, you know section. Me when I play like shit and then lose and then I get to whine about the deck. Three chapter four of the Earth Machine combo is actually the choke point. No, I'm, that's I'm definitely just gonna negate the this right. Just... 
This okay. is yeah. This feels like the right hit. Okay. I, 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 think cool. I did play around the Widow Anchor specifically because it, it didn't feel good to banish the Pot of Avarice, but I think we're. I mean, this, this is, is like a deck a with like one of the though, most telegraphed it's... choke points of all time. So but whatever, hey. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what yeah, do I know? Machine, uh, definitely isn't known for a long-term advantage. No, I don't think so. I think it's um, it's known for spending 10 minutes to draw two cards actually so okay let's use these no i mean the the widow or the shark cannon's pretty annoying here i think okay let's go stormer let me just read because i i'm pretty sure regulus targets and then yeah regulus if you uh shark cannon the regulus target it just doesn't Work. Oh no! I actually Doesn't think it work. still summons, bro. I actually think it still summons. What is the text? No, 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 it no, just no, came no. up when I was playing the deck. Wait, like, hold, I, on, hold on, hold on. I, Wait, I no, no. No, someone is in it. <laughs> Here's what happened. Here's what happened. Okay. Oh. Gage is right, by the way. Oh, everyone's doesn't matter be, now, be, so. Everyone's going to be pissed. I clicked Regulus, and then it said, do you want to summon it? And I was like, no, I, I want to read it. So I pressed no, and then <laughs> no, it's like, all right, it's going it. to the grave. Where's the read button? Where's the no, <laughs> Doug thinks he has an AI here that's just like issuing commands. Like, no, I want to read it, sir. <sighs> Fuck this UI. That's not on me. <laughs> Special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, equip that monster... Oh, you're right. You're Bro, right. Bro's you're done right. like a hundred episodes right. of Roulette, five seasons of Saga, and we just still miss clicking. I, I think that was a really unclear. It said add to hand. I know. I was trying to back up to the full list of the monster cards again. So I thought it was at, you know, I thought it was double checking if I wanted to summon it at all. Wah. Shut up. Um, <laughs> if he still wins, I will be. It will be very funny. Oh my god, dude, that actually like kills me. Uh oh. Oh man. Uh oh. Um. Yeah, that actually is like so fucking bad. I mean, I guess I can do this, but you have the fucking. Yeah, that actually is like a game losing play. Okay, go ahead. Let's hope for the best. Surely YouTube comments will be fine. Yeah, they've never accidentally clicked something on UI before. They're all perfect. So. Well, thankfully, uh, Farfa's <laughs> hand <laughs> fucking <laughs> blows like, ass. Clearly, that's not what I was trying to. Whatever, whatever. Mold, 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 mold. Throwing. No. <laughs> I feel like the shark cannon is useless, so let's just send. See if we can get something nice off the top here. Okay, I don't hate that. You didn't even chain it? Chain shark cannon? Yeah. Oh, I guess you can chain it. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, reading! <laughs> reading! Reading! <laughs> he's Look, so he's mad! Oh, he's yeah. fuming! Oh, how did you not know it, it highlighted <laughs> yellow? Oh, oh. These people are so mad. There is a line, actually. We go Planet Pathfinder for the field spell, and then we uh, we jamming waves our own field spell. Oh, he's doing it. Summon Pathfinder. Oh. Gonna yeah. get another field spell. Okay, yeah. That's cool. All right, so this is going to look weird. No! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I can't watch this fucking show anymore. <laughs> watch this fucking show anymore i can't it's like <laughs> they are <laughs> they are competing to see who can throw less come on <laughs> oh i'm supposed to set it oh my god <laughs> listen to how much fun gage is having though how would that have made a difference because i am jamming wave <laughs> Oh, 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 you were supposed to set. <laughs> as soon as he figures out it's a game determinative misplay, immediately pivots to yelling at him. Oh, I guess you're just a genius and I'm it, an asshole. You were supposed to set it? Wow, Farfa. Bro, this terrible UI. How is this? <laughs> How is this oh, my God. It's oh so my bad. God, dude. Yeah. Please just oh draw a fucking God, harvester. Dude, dude. Chad, I could not have protected this with Goliath because he had the shark cannon. There was no way oh. I couldn't go Goliath <laughs> really Oh my God. No, I didn't have a shark cannon apparently, Doug. Wait. No, we're fine because he got rid of the shark cannon so we could just trench her. We win. 
This okay. is karma for Lafayette. Holy it, shit! It actually <laughs> really is. I'm I'm pretty happy. With it. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. Um, hardest, right? well, let's get take two here. Oh, oh my this god. Is over. <laughs> Man, I suck. Dude, I'm this gonna is cry. This is karma. so painful. <laughs> I don't know what to oh, do. I I uh, might be in hell. I bad. might be in hell. I may have been punished for my sins. Let this me get hell. a do-over too while we're at it. This guy. This guy. I don't know. All right. We're just gonna oh click buttons God. and be very careful about. He our, could have um, grabbed shark like, cannons. I guess it doesn't really matter because well. the regulus is in great. Just hey, I have five spells in great. Yeah. No. Honestly, maybe this isn't that good. Uh, like okay, you just you just stay there. Bats, you watch your bats. your yeah, does not your Roblox again, but that's probably. Uh, do we have lethal? Reckless. There's no way we don't have lethal, right? <laughs> you you don't. If we could right? summon the yeah, fucking no, dozer and attack. I don't, I don't think don't we can guy. summon it in attack. Actually, okay. I think it has to be okay, defense. Let's go river so you go pop the Goliath here for <clears throat> river stormer. This is twenty. Oh river, no, it's in defense as well. Goliath effect. I mean to attach. Oh my god. Uh, we haven't activated River Stormer this turn, have we? Stormer the system down battles. for this episode. Could you imagine? You yeah, it would have been funny. Uh, we haven't system normal, I, so I, we I, could just I get thought about that as well. Derek Rain. <clears throat> actually, add to hand. Yeah. Yep. Let's add to hand this time. Uh, and we win, doing? right? Okay. Can... I mean, I can just go this. Make the seven. Rank up. Special yeah, bullet train. Dead, Are we going to use the old attack with bullet train? Um, I think. Unless there's any restrictions I'm missing here. Uh, bullet Train uh, can attack, but in so train. doing, has dude, to send two so cards you control yeah, to the graveyard. <laughs> fucking deck. <laughs> Jesus. Well, so I mean, we I'm only up, here. Farfo is only here because I screwed up, and I'm only here because he screwed up. So it's like, That's who true. really knows what would have happened? That's very, so very <laughs> That's true. Uh, typical Master Saga episode, bro. Yeah. Just go, just go <laughs> combat. Don't, give don't bother. Satisfaction of One and maxing. seven, dude. Oh, I'm Brazilian, <laughs> man. I'm Brazilian. <laughs> What a Holy. shit show. Oh, what an episode. This is definitely our best one yet. I don't <laughs> is, I don't know uh, if I can watch this, this series anymore, man. Master I don't, Duel's I don't UI think so. Incredible interface, okay, uh, let me see. I it really is, see though. Gage's deck it's was. The Konami, I the Konami I, boys. I don't even know how to describe it. Did you go into the Salmon Great Pack this week? No, this was last week we went. Oh, if you'd gone into Bujin, we maybe could have even done it. Something different. Yeah, I, I've Canada. come around on the I pack order. I know that I'm able to say it because I saw him pull badly, but just seems like it'd be almost it impossible to brick no on um uh, on Bujin. If you water to use it, I mean, if you want to use its second effect, if you don't use it, uh, that its first effect just reduces something to zero and oh, so it makes him crash. Okay. Yeah. Is that um, better than Jelly Cannon? Well, I mean, I got the Jelly Cannon also in the deck. Just <laughs> oh, true, true, true. I do see it. I do see it. Yeah, I mean, this is about what I expect your deck to to look like after the ban list. So that, that does Yeah, just sense. a little bit of a link pile. I, I, right. It doesn't matter, but against our game, Doug, like, I could have made Abomination, which is, like, the end goal. I just, I didn't see the line. Oh, so Abomination. It's all right, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, Nadir, what do you got? What do you got over there in your Striker? Is it just full power Striker, striker. without Engage, basically? Uh, engage and Kagari less Striker, yes. That's it. I'm I mean, this looks terrifying. Tribe infecting this... virus, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, we got the tribe. <laughs> yeah, this. I mean, this actually looks fucking terrifying. I, no, it yeah. doesn't. That's, this that's, is, no, it does not. That's scary. It's pretty good. Uh, um, yeah, my. I don't just... know if it would really. <clears throat> I don't. I don't know if it really would have mattered if I, like, I don't know. I think your deck is just the best. So. <laughs> I don't think it would have mattered if I played my cards. That's uh, I... a bit scary. Uh, well, my deck is just Earth Machines, today, but it has uh -huh. Regulus The now. Striker one! Again! Uh, this is the again? fourth time! <laughs> four times this season! Yeah, yeah. Dude, I hope I get the fifth one, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just run it back. This, this, this deck will be is the crazy. time that you Doug's get engaged. deck really is quite um, strong. <clears throat> <clears throat> it has Regulus, and it has Therion Cross. It's Earth Machines. Can't believe Gage and Limit Dozer. It's your fault. See you guys next episode. There's a person in here that's called Saga Last Boss. I'm going to hit him up. I'm going to duel him. Look, all I, I hope we can resolve a switcheroo today, chat. If we, deck looks mid? Yeah, I know. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? Deck looks mid. You come sit in the chair. You play in the next episode of Master Saga. <laughs> Let me see how you do. What? Are we doing the thing now? Well, Gage is not here. Oh, so real we're, quick, we're, we're I was going to say, okay. I feel like we have to DPE and... They, they fucking planned it! And like Lovely have to be banned, right? 
Uh, yeah, DP definitely. I don't know about the Labyrinth stuff, though. Maybe welcome, because, like, what do you do with with Lovely? Yeah, well, I, I have either of them written down. Okay, so that's that's fine. I'm Caught. Right now. That's good. I see why he had to apologize for this. Banning from Farfa. <laughs> I see why he had to apologize for this. That's evil. They they should have been executed for that. Let's see what the comments look like. I'm sure they're really nice. Is Doug around? Can I call Doug? <laughs> do a do a pickup with Doug? Legally executed? Exactly. You guys get it. The wild card bans will be fixed in episode 11. Please stop yelling at me. <laughs> oh, man. Dante banned twice in the same week. Did they just shove Gage into a locker and take his lunch money? Seeing Gage high roll pack and get super punished again and far for going into Math Max Striker for the fourth time makes me miss MBT and Saga. Come on. Hey, come on. Reward for the loser makes so much more sense. It's painful watching the person with the unbeatable deck get more good cards. Sandbagging doesn't even make sense because if you throw X game to craft X cards, then once you make up the losses, your opponent will have as many crafts as you have. Wild card ban should be written down before the start of the bans and limits and not just before the wild banning. Sure. Gage got to keep the labyrinth stuff. Wow. 30 seconds later. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Doug more mad than when Gage put die to one. Uh, genuinely, I hope that's why the gang ban happened to Gage. The gang ban? No, you're not calling it that. That's a little close. Purely out of spite for limiting die. That'd be funny and make the debacle worth it. Farfa is actually throwing. <laughs> I have a feeling people should open 30 packs. 10 master, 20 selected. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, man. Everyone's so mad at the wild ban. They're mad about the poly limit too, but fuck you. I did the right thing in Saga by banning poly. That ban, by the way, was the highest impact ban of the series. I literally... There were like seven full power decks that he just could not play after that ban. I will, I will die for that ban. <sighs> no one said living in the age of Gage would be easy. Weak men make bad times. What's the fucking... <laughs> Good times make weak men. Weak men make bad times. Bad times make strong men. Gage makes the age of Gage. <laughs> Oh, my God. I like people still trying to get top comment with spoiler shield. It's a little late. People people are don't give a fuck about this anymore. The road to the age of gauge is paved in blood. All right, let's see. What we got 19 on this one. Holy fuck. Hey, everyone. It's me, Sean Paul Sartre. Back at it again for another saga reaction. The bannings in every series. That's that's true. I like that Alex is in here, too. Okay. Dante in both progression and saga the second he becomes playable. Yep. Starting at 338 could be a new sub sound for the channel. It was good. The car trip wasn't that bad. Literally one time I had to do the one to do it. Who's to say this person behind you is not going to just let them go through? All right. Three, two, one. What type of bottom guy are you taking it all the time? <laughs> This clip, by the way, is insane. It's Gage doing like a Northern Lion style rant, right? But what do you think he's ranting about? I just want you to guess. You know it's traffic. What kind of traffic do you think he's ranting about? <laughs> Merging. Yes. He is, he is ranting about the concept of a zipper merge. He's like... I don't get it. They drive up to the front and then they go one at a time into one lane. How is that fair? And I'm like, how do you, what the fuck? That's, that's how you do it. <laughs> that's a zipper merge, right? What am I, I guess it like, if you are completely, if the idea is completely alien to you, I guess it feels weird to see people drive past you to get in front of you and make it ahead of you in the zipper merge but in a zipper merge, you're meant to merge at the last moment you can safely, right? 
It makes them mad. I don't get it. It is the most efficient way to move cars into fewer lanes. It, it's just like something you would be mad about until you drive once. I don't get it. Uh, man could not survive the DMV. I don't know, man. I always thought I was like a bad driver, right? I grew up in Kansas. I always thought I was a bad driver. Uh, and then I moved to the tri-state area and I was driving in New York, New Jersey, and now Maryland which if you're unfamiliar is the three worst <laughs> states for drivers in the world. <laughs> so <laughs> I kind of had to get really good really quick. I'm going to say that and then die in a car crash tomorrow, but <laughs> you know, at least this will be my legacy. Ugh. I will say the thing about New York drivers, I don't know how it is upstate, but like NYC drivers, very aggressive. They're always inventing lanes and shit. Um, but they're not bad at driving. Like, if you're driving in New York, you're either moving from one place to another, and you're, like, white-knuckling a U-Haul, or it is your job to, like, drive people all day, right? Like, people in taxis, they're not, like, bad drivers. They're really fuck. They're maybe a little too good is the problem. But if you're a bad driver in Maryland, completely different story. People in the Midwest do not know how to drive. Although their roads are straight lines and they still fuck it up. That's true. <clears throat> Change the world. My final message. Goodbye. I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. Nigga, fuck. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Time to get in shape after Saga to beat a certain VTuber for Danny's love in a 1v1. I gotta do what I gotta do, baby. All of them are going in the car. Gage's deck. Literally gang banned him. <laughs> Doug really pulled the playground. Nuh uh, I have a super counter to your cow counter. Farfa when he has to ban Dante. Doug and Farfa to Gage's deck. <laughs> Jesus. Farfa this week. Yep. You got the good stuff? I got you, my guy. <laughs> Whoa. Plague be upon you. Just kidding. Please stop fucking commenting. <laughs> Here's your saga meme with some farfa. The people around me don't let my head get too big. Especially my mom. She tells me I suck every day. One in seven. What the fuck is this? It's like a porn bot, but they aren't speaking American. My knack photos in profile. What is a knack photo? Jesus Christ. How is anyone ever horny in Germany? Das ist meine Puse. Not, not a fan of it. You don't actually hold up. French to German, no English. Act photos in der Biografie. <laughs> Act photos in a Biografie. <laughs> wait, wait, hold up. Sie beherbergen doch in Ihrer Biografie Staatsfeinde, nicht wahr? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, all right, I'm 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 done. That's the only one tonight. That's the only one tonight. Let's do the fucking, <laughs> let's do the twin of the hand. <sighs> okay. Hey, 
Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, and we are back with another Twitter thread. Today we're talking about bad cards. Not every card in Yu-Gi-Oh can be good. Some of them are miserably, terribly unplayable. But that doesn't mean we can miss out on an opportunity to be a hater. Despite the fact that a significant amount of the cards in Yu-Gi-Oh are unplayable, mm, let me do this again. Just because a card just because a card isn't worth the cardboard it's printed on doesn't mean that it just because a card just because a card isn't worth the cardboard it's printed on doesn't mean it will stay that way forever. There's a significant amount of cards in the game that are really not the right choice for the current meta, but if they ever were played, would be responsible for some of the worst, most unfun game states in the history of time. So today I'm asking you what bad cards you want banned. And I'm beginning with this one, Poisonous Winds. If you've never seen this card, it's a continuous spell that says wind monsters cannot be special summoned. Forget the Age of Fire. If we ever have a year of wind, this is going to be played and it is going to suck ass. Also, no one should treat wind that way. She's special. She needs to be protected. Let's see what you all came up with. <clears throat> exactly what I'm looking for. Exactly what I'm looking for. Why a Legendary Ocean? Because for a non-shark, water Xyz deck, it is functionally Stygian Dirge. I like to say, you have five other Umis. Use those, then print a Legendary Ocean 2. Meow has a great response. Has got to be Tyrant's Throws. This card could be banned tomorrow and everyone would read it once and go, this was legal. The only thing holding it back in the cost, the only thing holding it back is the cost, but when Normal Monster Turbo gets supported, the Gluttonous King is coming in hot. Activate by tributing two Normal Monsters. Neither player can Normal or Special Summon Effect Monsters. Did you know this was actually really playable for a very short period of time in Yu-Gi-Oh's history in an Ignite deck that played exclusively this, then a bunch of Ignites a la Gage's progression deck in order to make a bunch of Xyz monsters? <clears throat> Dyer says, every single one of these 446 cards... Okay, we don't need to make this more efficient. I wish says, these cards don't need to be banned for gameplay reasons. They need to be banned because there's a subset of community that utilizes the cards that allow you to look at your opponent's shit and then bends and contorts your cards when they touch them. You can feel the money burning as they treat your cardboard like they are making dragon's beard candy. Hold up. What's the problem with the current metagame? It's tier zero. What's the tier zero deck? An extremely expensive brew called Snake Eyes. Have we found a counter? Nice end board. I'll activate Goddess Skull's Oracle and fire the effect. You got it. <clears throat> Dimax says every single one of these whack ass, awful ass, terrible turn skip cards. A King Calamity would be here too, but that bum is hard carried by Centurion. Yeah, I have to agree. Uh, every one of these cards is super frustrating. They show up in deck lists once in a blue moon, and they never do anything fun. It's funny Dimax posted this, because I think Dimax has the best response to people who play these cards and decks at a competitive level, which is stop trying to make worse Centurion. That article is really, really good. But I, I love Chaos Effects. I was trying to build Drytron with the new cards, and people were like, no, it, the new cards are bad, the new cards are bad. You can't play Chaos Max in the same deck. And I'm like, and? I don't want to play this fucking terrible-ass card. CJ Alex, another banger post. Are they good? No. But I want every generic extra deck OTK enabler banned. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, access code. That's not that hot of a take. No. Boral Sword as well. And guess what? If this and Access Code are banned, you have to hit the next most powerful one, which is Raster Liger. He threw Utopia Double in here as well, which I also agree with. GCD, another great answer. These cards are never going to be good enough for a band, but they gotta go. 
They feel alien to how the game is built. They are judge headache inducers. Just take these out of the game. I know that the end goal for this type of card is to errata it into something that does work within problem solving card text, but realistically, it's just never going to happen. Just get rid of them. <clears throat> Cursed Eyes says, whenever I see my opponent activate two draw spells in a row when I don't have interaction, you just got to hold your breath and pray they can't do it. Gold Bamboo Sword, Royal Magical Library. They're still printing new Bamboo Swords. Like, they want you to do this. The thing about the draw spells is that pretty much every draw spell on the ban list could theoretically be taken off tomorrow because none of them are particularly powerful. But if there is a critical mass of them, it becomes an immediate issue for this reason exactly. You just ban all of them. Fuck it. <laughs> Ava says ban this so I never get yelled at for side decking it again. What's done is done. I just need people to stop playing this doo-doo ass card. That's why I want branded fusion banned. So this card is terrible, but if you set it up via a negate, it's a vanities you can turn off by summoning. Wait, hold up. So this card is terrible, but if you can set up a summon negate, it is vanities you can turn off by normaling. Hold up. Neither player can special summon monsters. When another monster is normal summoned to either player's side of the field, destroy this card. <clears throat> you would play it with Condemned Witch. Normal summon Witch, search Chalice, Droplet, Lance, etc. Summon Paragon on the opponent's turn after their normal. Protect it from its own destruction effect if you search to dress. Oh. Eh, we already did this one. Story. Nearly lost to this, but my opponent didn't want to say Yubel Loving Defender Forever's full name in Japanese or German, so they opted to call Ash Blossom instead. Let me see if I can do it off the dome. Yubel Das Ewig Lieber Weikta! Is that it? I feel like that's close. That's literally... It's literally correct. I'm so good. I'm literally perfect. <laughs> You are hiding enemies of this state in your anima zone, are you not? <laughs> okay, that's the, that's the last one. That's the last one. Why do you scream when speaking German? Well, the last time I was speaking German, I was screaming at the same time. Nah, 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 nah. That's the last one. That's the last one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <Ooh>. Uh, <laughs> I hate Stratos. Nope. <clears throat> Taste of Victory says, this motherfucker right here, I should not at any point be at risk of matching to some dude filming for Beaver Warrior OTK meme videos. Same reason they should ban Charge a Bug on Pokemon Showdown Ladder. No, you're going to have to get your salty meta player cries tears somewhere else. Back in my Yugi tubing days of 2014, I made a video... Back in my Yugi tubing days of 2014, I made a video calling for this card to be banned at release because I thought it had the potential to make games stuck in a draw pass loop until deck out. This was pre-Links, of course. Target a face-up attack position effect monster on each side of the field. If both monsters are still face-up on the field, negate their effects. If both their effects were negated by this effect, as long as those monsters are in face-up attack position, they can't be destroyed by battle, are unaffected by other card effects, and cannot attack or change their battle positions. Um... Yeah, you were right to say it. Oh, good. They linked the video. The next thing I was going to do uh, was going to be try and find the video. This is weird. There's like, rather than no audio, there is a little audio and it sounds like they are just in the doomed universe from Undertale. It's like... Oh, wait, no, there's music. <laughs> it might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Boom, bum, ba, da, ba, da, 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 da. <laughs> Could you please put a deck list? Looking forward to the new uploads. 
When was the last time Team Normie posted? Pac-Man reloaded deck profile. Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> let's, let's go next. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it was happy. That's so funny. Okay, I, this one isn't loading, so I can't do it. Oh, well. Hello. Tonight. Well, Jillian, I gotta, I gotta make the money. That's why I understand if it can't be avoided, but if it could be avoided. Okay, for the rest of this one, we're just gonna do it like this, okay? No, it's just you were screaming and, and thumping. I was. You're right. So I understand if you have to scream and thump, but if you could get. I will try to it. scream and thump less. Okay, I love you so very much. Mm. Go to bed. And uh, maybe we can scream and thump when I feel better. No, okay. Sheesh. <laughs> what? I thought that was funny. <laughs> it, was, it was, yeah. That is the only person I know who gets horny when she has a migraine. It's like the opposite of what, what you're led to believe by comedies made in the year 1990. <clears throat> While not particularly good or broken in any way, I think this card has some annoying uses given the fact it's basically free hand knowledge and you get to discard a card that probably has to be in the graveyard as its activation cost anyway. Let's see what we got. Yep, 100% correct. <laughs> no. This card was designed in a lab to be as annoying as possible, especially if you don't have spell trap removal. There is a whole series of these fucking guys. Moon Mirror Shield, Decisive Battle of Golgonda, Guardian Power. I don't want to have to play Cosmic, okay? Siberian says, without taking away from the fact that most people here are massive crying doo-doo babies about hand attack, this card have compounding factors. Drastic drop-off, drop-off, giga drop-off, the drop-off that has Playmaker on it. All of these cards just exist to create a no-win situation for judging staff. Get them out of here. In case you're wondering what the first half of this tweet is about, Siberian has a debilitating mental disorder that prevents them from typing an opinion without first couching that opinion in seething hatred for the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. No one's actually picked up on it yet, so it's fine. It's called being a magic player. <laughs> They're correct, so... <laughs> This isn't a bad card. It's a good card. But anime fans will read this card's two effects and go draw two. Or I can summon a vanilla. I know which one I'm picking. And they need to be stopped. I cannot imagine that summoning DM is even better than Pot of Greed in DM. I like this a lot. This person does not want Magician Souls banned because it's good. Or because it creates an unfun game state. But because they want Dark Magician players to feel less happiness. I really appreciate that. Oh my god, it's fucking at Kill Cops 420 again. God damn it! <laughs> I think you proved a little bit ago about why this card probably never should have been made. I enjoyed playing Fire Prison in that like Mystic Mind 2 deck that I built on Sarah Hyde's channel. But I do want to point out I'm not the only one trying this shit. I was at Locals about a month ago, and I look over to my left, and at, like, the mid-tables, what do I see but Fire Prison? And I'm like, oh, no. Come on. Everyone is gunning for stun cards in this thread, but here's one that's actually brave. This isn't a Yugi Boomer hand traps or bullshit thing. Ash has been a nigh-mandatory 3-of for so long, and now cards are being designed around it. Set or activate them from deck instead of search. Unfortunately... 
I think there is a decent argument to ban Ash Blossom. It's really weird because everyone is so unanimously on board with banning Maxi, and they keep posting that image that's like, Maxi's in 95% of decks, and then the number two card on it is Ash Blossom is in 90%. Like, this card has been a mandatory three of, with the exception of maybe two formats exactly, since its print. Seven years ago, no other card has ever put up numbers like that, to the point where design is completely warped by its existence. Certainly you can't ban it until you ban Maxi. God, could you imagine playing the OCG? <laughs> while we're at field spells nothing ethical has ever been done with black art and hold while this is 100% correct have you considered that I like it flu sucks but it's only a matter of time before I hard lose a game again without playing a single card of this this card should be gone even if harpy was halfway playable this would be frustrating to have to play against Ah, man. E uh, okay. I know the purpose of this thread is to talk about bad cards that need to be banned, and this definitely falls under that. Uh, but in terms of actual TCG list changes, I think this is the last floodgate that you can leave alive. This is the most powerful a floodgate should be allowed to be. Anything above this, fucking summon limit, deck lockdown, all the people that are at one should be banned forever. Everything below this, probably okay. But. This card is, no, it's banned. This card is literally banned. What? Only in Master Duel? What? I learned something new today. The attribute specific floodgates. God. Oh, there are so many games of edit. There are so many games of Edison that just completely focus around if you can remove the shadow or light imprisoning mirror. I truly hate them alongside these fucking guys. Oh my god. As a pendulum player, we do not claim him. <laughs> Probably not. You can't set cards. There's a Trish clip that I absolutely love where he loses his mind about this card and asks what I think is the best question. Why does this pendulum card have an effect that can trigger if it is in your graveyard? <laughs> oh, God. Shouts out to Ryan Yu for getting this thing limited in fucking Master Duel. This is not at all a good card, but I have a friend who would slap it down against my pet decks, which carried no non-destruction removal aside from Unicorn, and it made me groan every single time. Uh, I This ain't going in the video, but Jesus Christ, what a wonderful drawing. Really mean guy. <laughs> Half of the Monarch Spell Trap lineup just reads, if you have no extra deck, punch your opponent into the face. Domain of the True Monarchs, the Monarchs Erupt. They, they haven't even posted the card that makes all the Monarchs Towers. I know they have to compensate not being able to access an important part of the game, but surely we can do better than Skill Drain and Scythe. They should, unironically, ban all these cards and then take Lithium to a nice farm upstate. <sighs> I'm waiting for this card to spike. One day it's going to spike and it's just going to ruin my life. Scrubbed Raid and stupid fucking runic decks. One printing total, Duelist Pack 9. Oh, it's already kind of spiked. Five ninety nine. This could go way up. I got him at two bucks. Spiking because of ten pie. This card isn't good at any capacity. <laughs> but if every single player brought it to a YCS, Konami would have to ban it for how annoying it is. No, it's not. You just whip. These two, yes, and others like them, yes, facilitate the lamest gameplay imaginable. Yes, they can be outed, but if you don't find it out, you're screwed. Yes! One million percent of the time. 
Ugh. This has been meta like nine or ten times, and every single time it's like, I can't take this. I can't take this. I can't take this. I can't take this. Oh, so you hate poor people trying to play this format? Yes! How do you not get this? Also, like, if you're poor, just play flu. Don't play this. <laughs> Another interesting take on the prompt. This card is good, but its existence means they can't ever print a reptile with a really good graveyard effect. 100% correct. Oh. Remember when the new Pendulum archetype came out and everyone was super excited to see what it could do and it turns out the number one thing it could do is just set this card, just activate this card. I played against it at Locals once while Cash Tiro was full power and I was like going off and my opponent uh, won the die roll and then they went off and what they did was set Necro Valley and I was like, cool. That's awesome. Oh, epic. Ugh. Yeah, thank God they're not good anymore. But there was a period of time where I think these cards really could have been argued to have been a top-tier strategy. And when I say time, I'm not referring to, like, their printing. I'm referring to, like, 2018 or 19. Like, it, there was arguably a deck that did this with such unbelievable consistency that it should have been considered a top meta threat. It is so annoying. One of the most annoying archetypes of all time. Fuji, a Fuji classic, a Fuji classic. He played the fuck out of that deck. Ah, oh, Heat Wave. Heat Wave sees play once in a blue moon, and Heat Wave sees play once in a blue moon, and every time it does, I just have to groan. Neither player can normally special summon an effect monster until your next draw phase. Cool, awesome. Um. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's kind of weird conceptualizing this as a floodgate, but it turns all your monsters into machines, which prevents you from doing a lot of stuff. Mm. If you have a non-once-per-turn burn effect, you have to die. Sorry. Sorry. Cannon Soldier, Toon Cannon Soldier, Cannon Soldier Mark II. Sophie says, Amazonas Archer can stay around, though, because I respect women. Well, don't worry. I don't. We can ban her as well. We can also ban Shadow Priestess of Ohm. No. Every couple of months, someone discovers this card and thinks it's the nest... Every couple of months, someone discovers this card and thinks it's the next big floodgate. It hasn't been yet, but let's not chance it. Put it out to pasture now. <laughs> I like the concept of just banning Dark World as an archetype. Like, no one likes playing against this shit. It takes forever. It dies to droll or it kills you into the moon. Just, uh, just get rid of them. Oh. Treasure Panda has only ever been used for dog shit ass Exodia combos, but if you ban him, an entire economy of meta player cries, salty tears, replay videos from Master Duel goes under tomorrow. It's a load bearing bullshit card. You normal summon this card at locals, and someone across the room has to go, boink! What? What the fuck? Oh, hell no. Oh, you know. Ah. Oh, formats where this is playable are so frustrating. Yes, system down just automatically wins you the game. Fuck you. Whatever it takes to make Simo play something else. 
<laughs> That's the best reason I've heard yet. All right, I'm going to see if I can find any more. Boing! Most of these are just bad floodgates, which is fine. I just feel like we already have eight minutes of those. Oh, hell no. Oh. I don't care about how they play or if the new support is actually good, but I just feel uncomfortable looking at my opponent's board and seeing these things. Yeah, okay. The crib has, like, legs coming out of it. Oh, it's like the human centipede. Its ass is directly pointed at the camera. Um... Please stop posting Sniffa. That isn't, no, that isn't licensed to post Licka. His grippers demand me. <laughs> Yes. It becomes if it becomes accessible to search two fairies and summon one for free, this goes from funny to just annoying. This is the kind of thing that would make any good Arcana Force printed say you can't tribute monsters the turn you activate this, a la Ancient Gears. It is so funny that this archetype is so dog shit, and then they accidentally printed like a gristle brand style win condition for the archetype. And finally, we'll special this out with Saruya. Playable in Drytron, literally right now. Uh, Fed Negator, I... You say that about every single card, every single format. Every Everyone a month ago was howling about the Maikashi Trap. This made me lose hope of any tier deck moving forward. Why are we printing cards like this? Because this card is illegal, right? It is. I think there are locations in which this is not legal. EU? Yeah, I think it's not legal in EU. EU isn't real, don't worry. Oh, okay. I hate that this card is just such a weakness for Cyber Dragons, especially in Edison. It is so frustrating that Cyber Dragons as an archetype just has to contend with the fact that if it was ever anything resembling tiered, everyone would show up with a side deck style card in their extra that just automatically wins you the game. Or like you have to finagle an end board that doesn't have a Cyber Dragon on it specifically, hoping they aren't playing Mega Fleet and you can use Zone Math to your advantage. It is so frustrating. Okay, well, I disagree with this. I don't think you can play this in any deck, and it's a plus two. I think it goes even, but yes, TTC is one of the hallmarks of one of the most frustrating cards of all time. Yes. 
Oh, as a Tengu player, I will 100% go to bat for this. Why is discard five fine? <laughs> I'll never forget this being dropped on me while my hand was Fusion Gate and four heroes. Now, it's not really good now because it's a little hard to set up and uh, what you're just going to send a bunch of monsters to the graveyard that have graveyard effects but it's so funny to just tribute someone for five and scoop them up hmm. i think i'm good Siberian showed up to complain about exactly that card as well. Let's okay, let let's scroll that up to Master of Ham. No. What I've learned from this is that my audience are what I've learned from this is that my audience are exceptional haters. A significant amount of these cards wouldn't see play if you banned every single What I've learned from this is that my audience is exceptional haters. But ask yourself, for any one of these individual cards, would the game really be worse without them? See you next week, folks. There you go. What do you got? Uh no. <laughs> I, I agree with you, but this is so... What an annoying-ass card. <sighs> Stop touching my cards. <laughs> we already did this concept, but agreed. We did barrier statues. Oh. Right, yeah. Good point. Or flu birds. Uh, I don't think I've actually ever seen that card resolved. The Tax Brothers. Yeah, I'm the tax man. This one I feel like I can't put on here because it's not a bad card. Same with this. Mikanko, just ban Mikanko. I've seen this. Dinomorphias are inherently bad cards. Fuck you. Well, chat. I think it's that time again. Time for a little malatro. All right, so thank you all for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you like what you see, please follow the channel. Helps out a great deal. We're trying to get to 100,000 followers by the end of the year, and we are currently at... I guess I'll just pull it up. What's our current follower number at? Our, you know, you a lot of you guys know was was directly... A lot of you guys know this was directly... Directly, it's um 78.1K. So we have to get about... 2000 a month for the next 10 months and then we'll get it right yeah and according to socialblade.com uh we are not gonna make it so um let's uh let's pump those numbers folks uh it's free you can change your mind later but uh, just a quick heads up if you do change your mind later i'm coming for you um regardless uh 
I'm going to be back at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Monday, 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 doing what you all know and love. We're going to be doing Prague. We're going to be doing the Twitter Freaks. Uh, we're going to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh. We're going to be doing the second installment of that Danny thing. We filmed the first one recently. I'm super excited for it to go up soon. But on Monday, Wednesday, we like to chill with a little bit of variety at the end. But to keep you all here, because I know you people can't be relied on to stay unless you have toys, I will be doing a giveaway. Let's talk about a giveaway real quick. All right. We will be giving away. This medium-sized Karibo hoodie, courtesy of Pyramid Gaming from the MBT Winter Collection. They gave me a couple of things to give away, and I did not do it. Why? I'm dumb. I'm, I'm, I'm actually drowning in shit that I need to give away at this point. So uh, I figured I would just start doing it to uh, keep you all, trap you all here for the, um, the uh, end of the stream. If you want to be a part of this giveaway and you live in America, you can do so by typing exclamation mark raffle in the chat. Let me let me just make it real quick. Uh, advanced. Subscriber bonus. Yeah, subscribers get an extra entry, which is uh, funny, I think. All right, let us start that giveaway. And it'll end when the stream ends. For the rest of stream, we're going to be playing a little Balatro. If you're unfamiliar with Balatro, it's a roguelike. That means it is like rogue. <laughs> this is not even remotely true, right? Like at this point, at this point, we're we're playing poker. Like we can't say that it's like rogue anymore, right? I played a little Balatro off stream. I played a little on stream the other day as well. We played a little abandoned deck. The abandoned deck is always a lot of fun. Uh, but we were actually able to clear the black deck. I was very happy to have done that after trying for so long, which means we have to get rid of, we have checkered deck, which seems really good. Uh, we have magic deck or nebula deck or ghost deck. Which of those do, would you like to see? Please let me know. Magic deck or nebula? Okay, we'll do nebula. Start run with the telescope voucher. Yeah, let's go. Adds a voucher to the next shop. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, whoa. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope. I'm getting a flush. You know me. I'm flush gaming. So, oh, nope. That didn't work either. So, this is how this game works. Um, you try to make high-scoring hands in poker, for which you score a certain amount of points and if you clear a certain point total you are rewarded with money and then you can use the money in the store to improve your poker deck or the score you get from your individual cards okay what do we want to do i think both of these fucking blow balls uh i kind of want to go celestial pack immediately uh paintbrush is really good too let's get paintbrush immediately Rerolls the boss blind. Spades are debuffed. Now nah, we'll play it out. Uh, well, now I want to go flush gaming again. Fuck. Guys, I promise that I can do more than just click flushes. Oh, okay. I really want a royal flush. It. I need the ten of hearts. What are the chances? I mean, they're pretty high, right? Nope. Okay. If you get it or you don't, it was a 50-50. I agree. Wait, what? We didn't get it? Oh, thank God we still have a hand left. You have telescope. Flush gaming is correct. Yeah, I, I believe so. Okay. 
Uh, speaking of, there's Jupiter. Uh, how do we feel about Green Joker? Green Joker seems good. We're very early. What's the plan for the Elestrals box? We're going to open it in a uh, video that will go up on the Elestronauts channel. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just buy Jupiter. We almost have a flush in uh, debuffed cards. God, it feels like I'm playing on easy mode now that I no longer have to deal with the nonsense that was uh, the black deck. Flush gaming. Uh, pretty much anything does it at this point. Uh, Ace, Queen, King, Jack, 10, if you insist. But if you don't open it on stream, they'll buff that fucking rabbit again. You are that... You are they! Uh, let's go... Let's start opening uh, tarot cards. Oh! I I've never seen this! I, I, oh my god, I've never seen it! Alright, okay. I mean, do we want to use it over the chariot? No, 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 no. Perkeo. Create a negative copy of one random consumable card in your possession at the end of the shop. So we can buy Venus and just hold it and he will copy it? I mean, we don't really care about Venus, right? Just go next round. It's infinite Venus? Yeah, well, I, I don't care about that. I want, I want the interest. Free Mega Arcana? Fuck. That sounds, that sounds really good. Four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven. This is also a flush. I think we want to do the flush. Oh, because we want our hands to, or it's a level two. You can sell the negatives for free money. Oh, well, I should have done that then. Six, seven, eight, nine, Jack, fuck. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How are we not king, king, queen, queen, Jack? Pluto. Well, I don't want that. Uh, Jumbo Celestial's got to have Jupiter in it, right? It's actually guaranteed. Oh, it's just use, not buy and use. Fuck. Um. Okay, I will do this. Yeah, for that reason. Oh my God. Oh, four dollars. Sorry. Okay, I want the interest. Oh, I will... I will skip this for the free jokers. Ooh, Splash and even Steven. Sure. Oh my god, it's not a flush. We have full house. That's the end of the game, right? Oh, apparently not. Oh my god, come on. Wait, we have full house again. Oh my god, we're gonna get full house again.
Uh, wow. Um, holy. Judgment seems insane with Perkyo, right? Seems okay. Is it better than Pluto? Just getting high card all... Okay, let's... Yeah, we'll do it. Cryptid, though? Let's Cryptid. You need the Jokers? Okay. Jupiter. Thank you. Create two common Jokers? Yeah, I could do that again. Free Mega Celestial? Nah. 10 4 and gluttonous. Sure. Hey, it's me, Mr. Fishes for Flushes. Uh, hey, it's me, Mr. Fishes for Flushes. Uh, we actually need a flush here, right? We could just play high card. We have we have the hands for it. That was crazy. What? <laughs> Okay, how do we want to do this? Um, oh, Abstract Joker seems not bad. Uh, which one do we want to sell? I think Gluttonous is kind of bad. Splash is kind of bad. I mean, they're all bad. Um, yeah, let's do Splash. Uh, we want to use the negative one, right? Because it'll come back. Yeah. What are we hoping for? Use the regular one? Oh? Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Hallucination. Wow. That's... That is about to go pretty crazy. 50? Whiff. Oh, no. I got it. The fool. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, we broke it. Oh, God. Okay, now I have to start thinking. Fuck. Okay. If we get cryptid, the fool copies the cryptid, right? No, wrong. Can the fool not... Oh, Territor Planet. Okay, never mind. Well, shit. Um, then what do we want of here? I think probably we want the talisman in that case. We'll put it on the jack or something. Yeah. Blech. That's, that's a rip. We should have something cooler to do. Um, I will be selling Hallucination. Uh, and we will... We will run back to Judgment. Oh, I love Shortcut. Shortcut's crazy. None of them are very strong. Maybe there's a world in which we sell one of these for the abstract Joker. My gluttonous is not very good. A shortcut might not be good either because we're trying to we're trying to do flushes, not straights. Yeah, let's let's grab abstract. Wow, that was lucky. Good run. Um okay, well that's not very good for us. Uh oh. Oh, 
Okay. That's infinity dollars. Okay, well, um... We're always buying that. Uh, we are probably selling some of this, right? So we can generate the jokers off the of judgment. Uh, what sucks here? I think the walkie-talkie sucks. Yeah, I don't like 10-4. Oh. Fibonacci is pretty interesting. Um, well, I don't like... I don't really love Even Steven. And I don't really like Gluttonous Joker. We'll do Even Steven. Bye-bye. Wrathful. Ugh. Disgusting. Um... Go Celestial here. Grab a, a Jupiter. Uh, after defeating the boss blind, gain $15. I don't want that. Let's run it. It's me, Mr. Flush. That was almost really funny. Okay, now we have infinity dollars. Uh, oh, wow. Kind of like photograph, but... um. Bunch of stinkers. What the fuck? A bunch of really bad ones. Get the voucher? We'll get it next. Don't you worry, your pretty little head. This is probably enough already. Ah, just a little off. This actually might not be a terrible position to do flag in. Ooh. I love Vagabond, but oh! Is there something we can do with that? I don't think so. Very breakable. Damn. Kind of a rough one, right? I'll buy a play, uh, pack. Uh, we'll take the glass card. All face cards are drawn face down. Oh god, if we had... <laughs> think how bad that would have been. Uh, I wonder if that's a... I have gotten Cavendash, yeah. That's a spade. Uh, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> two pair, apparently. Safe, damn. The money. Carrot cards appear two times more frequently. Yes, sir. Uh, blue Joker? I don't think that's good. I don't think that's good. Oh, Jumbo Buffoon might go crazy. Nothing. Ah! Damn, we could have done something with Smiley Face in that previous one, but it would have killed us. 
Um, wow. Uh, Crafty Joker is not bad, actually. Level 7 flush. That's crazy. Let's reroll. The moon. Oh. The moon might go kind of crazy. And we hit Hermit, too. Ooh, and we will be skipping that blind. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack. Sure. Die. Safe. <laughs> We're not clearing flush allegations. You're right. We are. Holy. Ten chips if played hand contains a straight. Not what I'm looking for. It's still probably better than like a significant amount of our stuff just for the 1.5, right? It's probably better than Banner. Wow. We could just bum out Hermit now. We only got one. I'm so stupid. We're going crazy on flushes. It's time. <laughs> oh shit. Um Fuck. Um Wow, Hanged Man is crazy. I think I want Hanged Man over Jupiter as stupid as that sounds, right? We just start blowing shit up. You like Jupiter best? I'm gonna try Hangman. I think Hangman's funnier. Uh, no. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. Cards played previously, this anti or deep up. Great, I only played one, so. What do we want to start destroying? Kill all diamonds, you got it. Kill all diamonds. That sucks. There we go. Oh, nice. Thank you, random polychrome. Uh, I guess. Oh, free money in the shop! This is a crate. The flush is going very big. Oh. <laughs> well, if you insist. <laughs> uh, I don't need this. God. Oh my God. If you insist. <laughs> can we get a. Can we get a. Can we please get a good Joker? I swear to God. You're killing me. Oh, wait, we didn't max out on Hermit. No. Okay, uh, three hand size next round. Damn, that's pretty good. Uh, we will not be doing that, though. I, I want to run it. 
What do we say? Kill all diamonds? We want lower diamonds, though. Kill all diamonds. Oh, no! No! <laughs> the banana! No. Jumbo buffoon. This could go hard. In the mother... Oh... I don't know. I am going to try Sixth Sense. I don't know if it's good. I will try it. Now, theoretically, the, the goal here is we roll a six, we kill it, we get a Spectral, then we clone the Spectral every turn with Perkyo. Uh, but it's a little late in the run. <laughs> To be doing shit like that. Okay, come on. One time banana. Banana, 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 banana. <sighs> Jupe? Oh, okay. Banana. <sighs> oh, okay, whatever. Uh, we will skip this. Trance. Cryptid. Well, cryptid would be better if we had something better to do with it. Uh, whatever. Oh, should have put it on, on a six so we get another one. That's smart. Must play five cards. Or hand will not score. That's okay. Ah! It just said not allowed? That's so annoying. Fuck off. Neptune. I would love to use Neptune. Thank you. Well, that might come up. Oh, well. That's that's a pretty good voucher. Alright, we're just going to flush our way out of this one. Useless ass jokers. Kill all diamonds. I forgot about the six. Sorry, chat. <gasps> it's back. <laughs> See ya. Whew. One time banana. Let's fucking shit. Earn $8 if played hand triggers the boss blind. This is a hilarious joker. Can we just buy it to have it? No, let's just buy some celestials. Died 2024. Born 2024. Welcome back, Cavendosh. Level 20 flush. Oh, we get another one too. Uh, I don't fucking care. Um... High card. Is it X3? It is, yeah. Uh, kill all diamonds. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that went okay. Uh, yeah, why not? Temp free money? Free money? If you insist. Okay, our money woes are solved.
Discards two random cards per hand played. Oh, this is annoying. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, okay, what's what's more likely? Hold up. Clubs is very slightly more likely. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, wait, we got it. We got clubs. Oh. This is a flush, too. This is a straight flush. Holy shit. Wait. Was it worse because it was a straight flush? Yes. Oh, no. Okay. Kill all diamonds. You might be wondering, why did you do that? Uh, because we are not going to get another turn. Uh, Judgment? No. Oh, Mega Buffoon! Nah. Oh! That's, that's good. Whoa! That's gonna literally end the end the turn. Kill all diamonds. <laughs> We're running out of diamonds in here. There's three diamonds left in the deck. We gotta move on. <sighs> if you insist. Now do hearts. I think we're I think the the run is over, dog. I think it's over. <laughs> A level 23 flush is is really something. Kill all diamonds. We have one diamond left in deck. What can we kill next? Spades. No. Hearts. 1v1 Leah in Fortnite for Danny's hand. Oh, did we get raided? Leah, thank you for the raid of 98. I hope you had a good stream. Fuck you. I am the Bellatro master. I'm just practicing this game so that Danny will love me. Do you guys think it's going to work? Oh, free money. If you insist. Uh, what do you think is going to be in the Jumbo Celestial Pack? Fool. One-time fool? No. God, we didn't even get to wheel. Oh, wait. High Priestess. Oh, damn. Uh, I don't need any of that. Or that. Or that. Or that. All right, well. All cards debuffed until one Joker sold. I feel pretty confident selling the Perkyo here. Perkyo, you have served me so incredibly well this run. <sighs> uh... All right, we got it in one. Hey, all right. You dealt with that pretty well, thank you. Find this Joker from the soul card. That's gotta be Perkyo, yeah. That guy was great. Reroll the shop a hundred times. What else did we get? Reroll. Yeah, 
I think that's going to be it for me. Or will it? Will it actually be it for me at all? Yeah, it's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for, for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you like what you see, as always, I'd really appreciate a follow. That would mean a lot for, or, to me. Uh, we're going to close entries on the raffle in 10 seconds. So if you came from the Leah raid and you want a shot at a size medium pink pyramid hoodie and you live in the United States, exclamation mark raffle in the chat will get you an entry unless you're a sub, in which case it will get you two entries. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Entries are closed. And the winner is E9ZIPY. Are you in chat? Are you a medium? Are you in the United States? It's me. It's literally you. I am here. Hell yeah. All right. I will, uh, I will hit you up about your um, mailing details. Uh, probably in the next couple of days, and we'll get this sent out to you. Thank you all so much for sticking around to the bitter end. Really appreciate you. I'll be back on Monday, 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 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as ever. We're going to be doing the classic lineup of shit. Until then, I'm going to throw you over to someone else. I think Gage is streaming, if I'm not mistaken. When will we do Ace Attorney? We're going to do it in all in one stream. Three, four, five in one, like, weekend of streaming. You know, this weekend would not be bad for it. But I'd like to be done with my my law school finals first. So probably early May. All right. Hop in the gauge raid so I don't look like a wash up. Yeah, I can do it with, uh, with five hundo. Come on, we need 20 more people. 20 more people, you better click that button. Oh, I know we're not going to. I know how this works. We'll just send less than 500 people there. He's going to call me a wash up. He's going to do it, chat. You don't want to hurt my standing in the Gage community, do you? All right. What do we say? We say good night. I hope you all pee pee your pants. <laughs> we don't say.